Pumpkin, and welcome to the stream. Hi, Pumpkin. Hi, Devin Lass. I'll give it a few more minutes just to see if anyone else is going to show up. Otherwise, they're going to miss the start of the game. I just check my stream. Okay. We are just going to storm on ahead then. Welcome everybody uh, to my Wednesday stream. Today we are going to be playing a game, not in French, <laughs> but in English. Uh, this game is called Gregory Horror Show. It's one of my favorite games in the entire world. Um, may I humbly present it to you. So, uh, this is a... I guess the elevator pitch for this game would be a survival horror game for kids. But it's not really a survival horror game. It's more kind of like an adventure game. Um, but made by Capcom at the height of their PS2 survival horror powers. Um, so, it's based on a Japanese animation called Gregory Horror Show. Um, you can get the DVDs in the American region. Um, good luck buying them nowadays, because everyone has has kind of taken notice of the fact that Gregory Horror Show stuff is kind of rare. Um, there's a trading card game and some little figurines. You can also buy some slightly bigger figurines. Uh, there are three of those, and I managed to track them all down. I have them. They're mine. Um, good luck finding them. Uh, occasionally they pop up for auction from Japanese sellers on eBay for like hundreds of hundreds of pounds. Um, so yeah, uh, kind of need to like this game or have liked this game back in the time when no one gave a shit about it and Capcom put it out for twenty pounds new as opposed to a forty pound full price uh, budget, uh, full price title as opposed to budget. Um, I bought Gregory Horror Show on site. I walked into what was then Electronics Boutique, or it might have become Game at that point in the UK, and um, I saw this thing for $19.99, and uh, you see the cover, you think, what the fuck is this? And then you turn it over, and you see Capcom, you see horror, you see a giant pink lizard, and a mouse, and you think, well, two kinds of people. One kind of person thinks, what the fuck is this shit, goodbye. And the other kind of person thinks, what the fuck is this shit? I'm buying it. And I fall into the latter category. So, we're just going to go ahead with the game. Um, we should be able to finish the entire thing in this stream. And not only that, but there should be time afterwards for us to do a little showcase. Because everybody in this game has a soul. And your job, as you will see very shortly, is to find those souls and return them to death. In fact, it's the only way to escape from Gregory's Hotel and make your way back to the real world. Um, but if you take someone's soul and then they catch you afterwards, they will submit you to what's called a horror show and you will lose a lot of health. So it becomes this juggling act of no one in the hotel is antagonistic towards you. And as you collect more and more souls, suddenly every resident of the hotel wants you dead, essentially. Except... You're kind of already dead because this may or may not be purgatory. Who knows? <laughs> anyway, we're going to begin. So uh, the story will will present itself and, and we'll, we'll fill in all the details. Uh, and there should be time at the end for us to see everybody's horror show. We're going to be saving liberally. Um, and if we run into some particularly bad luck, we're just going to load up our save because we're, we're not interested in... We're not interested in playing this organically. I know this game back to front, so it's more a case of me showing it off to you, and I'll, I'll kind of abridge the large sections of gameplay you would usually play as casual as a casual player, um, 
uh, I will tell you what it is that you find out from following these people around and looking through holes in the walls and, and uh, padlocks and stuff. Uh, you peek through and you, you spy on them, you find out their routine and you find out the way to get to them. And I will just skip to the get to them and explain how you find that out. So let's get started. There's also a uh, introductory movie on the start screen. So don't think I'm mad, but we're going to wait on the start screen so that you can see that because there are some parts of that that don't show up in the later story. They're unique to the opening screen. So we'll watch it. This is one of my favourite games of all time. <laughs> this is Gregory Horror Show Soul Collector. And we're just going to wait for this uh, screen video to play. Um, you will see the aesthetic is very Japanese. It adheres quite strictly to the cartoons visuals. Uh, some of these characters are one for one. Literally the only thing that changes with some of them is the voice actor. Between the animation and the game. That's all. We here at Gregory House are committed to providing the kind of relaxation and peace of mind that will make your very soul tremble. We will make every effort to ensure that every guest who stays with us is satisfied. And what is your desire? Here at Gregory House, you will find the embodiment of your true self, your hopes, and our dreams. Please make yourself at home, for this is the world that you yourself have been searching for. Oh, do you need a room for the night? <laughs> This is a little, like, uh, taste of what the game looks and plays like. It's interesting because it's taken from an earlier version of the game because the font is different in the final version. But I think we're probably already getting a taste for some of the, the weird kookiness. <laughs> yeah, so you probably took one look at that and like, what the hell is happening? Um, don't worry, we're gonna ease you in. Is there anything I need to run over in the options? Not really. I tend to prefer the 2D style just because it's the default. Um, vibration, yeah, go on then. I think that's all fine. Listen closely here for two voices. I found, I found myself, myself walking, walking through, through a deep, deep forest, forest in a thick fog. How, How did, did I get, get here? I should have been, been home by now. now. Suddenly, I saw a bright light before me. It was the hotel. Do you need a room for the night? My, my. You certainly do look exhausted, don't you? Well, then, I'll get a room ready for you. That's Gregory, owner of Gregory's Hotel. Um, we are going to put in Gollops because that's my name. And we're going to play as a girl. 
you can play as either a girl or a boy, and you'll notice that once I've picked to play as a girl, there will only be one voice narrating from now on. It's just a really nice touch that they include both voices until you choose who you want to be. Um, what else do I need to say before this begins? Oh yeah, so you might notice, because that bit of FMV just there used a bit from the actual uh, animation. That was actually from the animation that, that was released on DVD. But you will notice when we get into the game proper that the hotel looks slightly different layout-wise. Uh, in the entrance hall, the entrance hall is much bigger than in that FMV. So there are tiny little things like that where Capcom kind of had to, like, decide on what the level was going to look like. Because Capcom did, a, I think, a really good job of adapting the content of Gregory Horror Show into a game. Right this way, if you don't mind. I'll be happy to show you to your room. I must say, we don't often receive guests at this hour. Perhaps you've somehow managed to lose your way. Or, oh, uh, or maybe you've just lost your mind. That was a joke. <laughs> Have a pleasant sleep, my friend. You'll be needing it, believe me. <laughs> Lovely picture of a cat there. Homely. And so I fell into a deep sleep and began to dream. And now we're going to meet Death, who is Swedish. Come on now! Throw away all them worries! Forget about them! Huh? I can tell you ain't from around these parts. Hey, what's the deal, bud? Are you lost or something? Don't be embarrassed. You can tell me. What? You can't get back? Hmm. Okay, how's about I make you a little deal? See, my job is removing lost souls from the living world. And that hotel is full of lost souls, what needs to be removed right away. Hoo Go in and find me. I'll show you the way back. I even got some body you can use. It's a little small, but hey, what you gonna do, right? When you find them all, come see me again in your dreams. You got that? See you later, pal. So that was Death. He's given us a body that we can use. He's told us that in this hotel there are a lot of lost souls that we can recover, and if we help him recover all of them, then he'll show us the way back to reality, I guess. So, Two of the major mechanics in this game involve knocking and peeking. You can knock on doors, and that will alert the people inside. You can peek through doors. It's a bit finicky to get in the exact right spot. And sometimes characters in the room will know you're peeking if you make too much noise or move around too quickly. You're the one who next door yesterday, aren't you? I need to talk to you. Yes. So go get the key that's on the counter in the lobby and bring it here. To get to the lobby, just go straight and turn left at the end of the hall. So we're kind of in a tutorial of sorts at the moment. Um, this game has a full day-night cycle, 24-hour clock that dictates what everyone is doing at any time. They have a routine that you can um, actually, if you observe them doing their routine, 
then it will get locked down in a book that you can read so you can even kind of keep track of where people are based on spying on them but at the moment that 24 hour clock isn't active because it's introducing gameplay sections one at a time so it's introduced picking and knocking now we need to uh, go talk to Gregory and find the key he's just over here but before we do that we'll just have a little look around because we'll take advantage of the fact that we um don't have a clock right now so this is the main hall entrance hall uh, through here is a dining room and then a kitchen um, there's an upstairs a second floor that's got a, uh, a bar that's the door you can see just up there on the second floor um, as well as more rooms there are rooms on both floors um, there is a map and we will come to use this map a lot actually I'd say it's the most important item in the game uh, to me anyway because uh, residents show up on the map so you can plot your route through the hotel based on the fact that you might need to avoid certain characters um, where else so there is a basement uh, there are a series of basement levels but uh, both the basement levels and the upstairs will not be open to us at this point in time or should not yeah, um, they get unlocked as we progress through the story, uh, little by little, just to make the hotel a bit bigger each time, so that there's more to play with, more to explore. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, we can save at any time, we just have to go to the room with the save frog in it. Yes, there's a frog who saves. She's a fortune teller. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, we're going to get our first map off Gregory, actually, right about now. The key to the room next door? The cat that inhabits that room is the last remnant of a family that once caused us a great deal of trouble. A most dangerous cat indeed. He was once a beautiful creature with fine silky fur. Then, one stormy night long ago, someone sewed everything shut. Eyes. Mouth! Ears! Oh, what a horrible thing! Since then, he's been a nasty beast that attacks anyone who draws near. As the manager of this hotel, I simply cannot allow you to have that key. Oh, is it 12.30 a.m. already? And this is where our clock comes in from this moment on. Well then, I guess it's about time I made the rounds of the hotel. This is when Gregory does his rounds. He does several uh, rounds at different times of the day. Um, I don't know everyone's schedule off by heart because there are quite a lot of characters. Um, but yeah, he's usually prowling around, like uh, carrying his uh, candle and just looking around at things. <laughs> Each resident of the hotel follows his or her own, her own daily schedule. Sometimes knowing your opponent's schedule can be the key to achieving your objective. Yes, for instance, there are going to be characters later on. I know the specific time and place where they are most vulnerable that we can get their soul, for instance. But you wouldn't know that unless, um, well, unless you read a guide. But also, just in general gameplay, you would have to follow people around and watch them. And I, I just love that. I think that's a great gameplay mechanic. It adds... A great deal of fun and time following people around and checking out their schedules it means you don't make a lot of progress immediately but um it's rewarding in the long term and you get to explore you know a brilliant game like this anyway gregory is off to make his rounds we will just um talk to him first hello Necessary evil laughs. It's uh, that's all he does. Um, so we can use select to look at our map. If I show you, you can see here on our map, Gregory is in this room with us. Uh, Neko Zombie's down the hall, and if we just wait and watch uh, Gregory exit the room, you can.
can hear the doors, which is very useful. There it is. When we check our map, you can see that he's now in that corridor that we came from. This is, like, so invaluable. It's like, it's the best item in the game, because especially later on, we're going to be dealing with upwards of 10 to 12 characters chasing us all the time. Um, so it really pays to know where people are, and you'll be pressing select a lot. Um, but for now, because Gregory has left, we can kind of just be a bit cheeky and grab this key. This is the manager's office. I'm pretty sure it's locked at the moment. Yeah. And we can't look at that. Cute little skull, by the way. I love the, the, the design, but the design is all... Like, I'm sure Capcom had some hand in some of the elements of this game, but like it all looks like it fits in the world of the animation perfectly. Because Gregory. Uh, we'll just wait for him to leave. If you try to get into the door for Neko Zombie while he's around, he has something to say about it. And we're going to unlock the door. Here we go. Neko Zombie looks scary, but Neko I'm Zombie is probably so our best friend hungry. in the hotel. Is it dinner yet? We meet at last. Just a pure character. Just really nice. My name is Neko Zombie. Do you think I'm scary? No. I don't need your sympathy. Fair enough. Are you ready, Garlips? The guests in this hotel are planning to keep you trapped here for all eternity. Yes. So they're not going to give up their souls that easily. So, you have to know their weak points if you want to get those souls back. First, you've got to scope out their weak points without them noticing. Now we'll practice peeking. Go out into the hall and look through the keyhole. Necro Zombie is probably my favourite character in terms of, like, how nice they are. But, um... There are, like, in terms of designs and, like, are characters that hate me, then but are really cool. Peeking into my room. <laughs> the peeking is, even for people who've played this game a hundred times, is just Did not see me? consistent. Now, I'll tell you about my weak point. Yes. My weak point is food. You'll have to figure out on your own what my favorite food is. Yes, I guess we just maybe wait here for a while and see if Neko Zombie gives us any hints. I'm hungry. <coughs> something sweet, something not cold. Some dessert. Mm. Now, I was thinking about this the other day. Um, banana technically fits, uh, but it's not banana. It's chocolate. A dessert that's sweet and not too cold. That's it. Here, I'll give you this. Is this what you're talking about? I picked this up somewhere a long time ago. Here, you can have it. I don't need it. This is so. Everyone keeps them in little jars. <laughs> and all you must find. Each of the guests in this hotel is carrying one.
So, what is a lost soul? The souls who live here are made of drifting hearts and faded hopes. You'd better be careful, or you might end up the same. Who are the guests? To escape from their inescapable pain, the residents of Gregory House have chosen a life of endless wandering. They love to see other people suffer, so you'd better look out for yourself. Why are the guests carrying souls around? They took the lost souls without permission from the original owner. And who was this original owner? There's no need for you to worry about that. <laughs> I want to know more about the hotel. It's a place to soothe your tired soul, yes. But you'll find out soon enough just what kind of place it is. So, Never mind. How are you planning to deliver those souls back to death? I see. You're going to meet him in your dreams? In that case, you should sleep on the bed in your room if you want to hand the souls over to death. So in this game, once you have a soul, you can hand it over to death in your sleep. If you uh, do not hand it over to death, it will... Um, we haven't actually had our sanity meter uh, introduced yet as a concept, but you have a sanity meter which essentially works as a life bar. You can increase that life bar by doing good activities like reading books and things, um, and you can use items to replenish it, or sleeping also helps replenish it. But another thing that helps it drain much slower is holding a soul. The only problem is, if you steal a soul from somebody, and you're walking around with it, and they catch you, they will take that soul back, you will have to get it back from them again. Now you will have to use the same method that you get the soul originally from them in the first place. You just have to repeat the actions, but um, they will take any soul. So say for instance, um, we're about to meet a character called Catherine. If I steal Catherine's soul, and then she catches me later on holding a soul. It could be well after that part of the game when it's someone else's soul completely that I stole. Say for instance, uh, a character called Cactus Gunman. If I've got Cactus Gunman's soul, or the soul that he had, and Catherine catches me, she will take that soul and that will become Catherine's soul now. And I will have to do the exact same thing I did last time to get Catherine's soul again. Um, so it's kind of a risk reward in that if you wait, and not hand the souls over to death, then you have a, uh, a stronger health bar. But if you get caught, you lose the soul and you've got to do all of that work again. Um, uh, handing over to death, it's safe forever, it's gone. Uh, that soul is now ticked off. So what we're going to be doing actually is we are going to be playing a really risky game of not handing over souls to death until we absolutely have to. Um, just to limit the amount of time that we take, like visiting death and coming back and going into our sleep, but also so that we have an easier time not having our health bar drain so much. Uh, so it's going to be a little bit risky and it might get a little bit kind of like tense when we're trying to outrun people, but we're going to be doing safety saves uh, just to make sure that we get through the game. Um, this is a game that I am interested in speedrunning. I would like to start speedrunning it. Um, so this kind of like acts as a way of us playing the game and enjoying the story before I start speedrunning it to death and you never see any of the cutscenes, basically. Uh, anyway, you cannot progress uh, to the next part of the game without handing death this soul, but you can't hold on to this one. Uh, we kind of have to hand it over to progress the story. Come on now! Give it up! Throw away all them worries! Oh, it's you! Did you manage to pick up any souls? I did. You brought me a lost soul already? Well, that sure was quick. Okay, then, hand it over like we agreed. I like the way his dialogue is written. It's like phonetically spelt some of the words he mispronounces or, or has a weird twang on. 
I also love his line. Good luck there, buddy. Hey, thanks a lot. Here, I'll stamp your card for you. Just keep finding them and bringing them back to me. Whenever you get one, go to sleep and I'll catch up with you in your dreams. Good luck there, buddy! <laughs> My good friend Axton. Um, he has a channel reward on his uh, Twitch channel where you can request a sound clip. And um, I requested that one last night. <laughs> Uh, there's a letter on the pillow. I have something important to tell you. Come to my room when you wake up, Neko Zombie. I wonder what it could be. I think it's the next gameplay mechanic. Did you sleep well? I've got to talk to you about you know what. Do you know Catherine? Do you know Catherine? You do now. Time for a blood test. Oh, this is so good. Oh. Catherine loves to draw blood from people she doesn't like. Never true what was said. Catherine loves to draw blood from people she doesn't like. True she that. two doors down from me in room 104. Somebody's listening. I love this tense music. All the music can get great. <laughs> I heard that. I heard that. <laughs> so that child is collecting souls. I think it's time for a blood sample. I guess it won't be that easy to collect the souls after all. I'll give you some hints about how to go about getting people's souls. Okay, we need the hints. Hints on peeking. When you peek at someone, you can often catch them talking to themselves. Catherine is evil. She is evil personified. But it's kind of funny, in the animation, um, she has her own side story. Like, the way the animation works is there are three seasons. Um, each one kind of tells an overall story, but they're in these, basically an episode is about three to five minutes long, and there are about 30 episodes, or, or 25 episodes, something like that. Um, so they're very short, but they're really, really cool. And um, each DVD has got like five episodes of like a side story with Catherine in it, and you, you grow to like Catherine. Like, she's not complete, in the game she's more evil than she is in the animation. Um, I think, maybe, just... Everyone's a little bit evil in Gregory House. How to avoid being seen. The guests here react to the sounds of footsteps and doors opening. Yeah. And and you noticed how before I was listening to hear Gregory's door open and close before I, I went to take the key. You could probably take the key before that, but you know, just by listening we could tell that he had left the room, and that, that's really important, the audio cues. I imagine if I do speedrun this game, audio cues are going to be vital. Uh, the guests here react to the sounds of footsteps and doors opening. These sounds will give you a warning. If you think someone's going to hear you, just stay quiet for a while. Yeah, true. Also, if you are looking through a peephole and you move the analog stick too quickly, you'll make like a kind of like a rubbing noise. I guess it's supposed to be you on the door, and that will alert the people in the room that they're being spied on. About those blue flames. You see those blue flames that hover around the guests here? That means they're carrying a soul. If you don't see that flame, it means they must have put their soul somewhere else. Some people's souls we're gonna steal just because they put them somewhere else. If you find it, it's yours for the taking. Knocking on doors. Face the door and press the square button to knock. If you knock on the door when there's someone in the room, that person will come out to see what's going on. Got it? Never mind. That's all I can tell you. Okay, so we don't actually get our sanity meter 
introduced you. Oh. This is so awesome. This is James. He's Gregory's grandson. James, you nasty child! Stop throwing your garbage on the floor! What if someone stepped on it and had an accident? Where is that brat? James! I'm the one who has to clean up all of your messes. I love it, it's so stupid. Um, so, the reason we just got a cutscene like that is because, actually, someone could slip on a banana peel, couldn't they? And have an awful accident. Here's Catherine. <laughs> You're Garlips, the one who's been collecting oh, souls, that aren't you? makes me want to do terrible things to you. <laughs> I think I'll make your job harder by running away. <laughs> So, Catherine will run away when she sees you. Running, banana peels. Running, banana peels. Running, banana peels. I'm coming up with nothing. How about you, chat? Running, banana peel. We need to go and find a banana peel. There are a couple of ways of finding a banana peel. One is consuming a banana, funnily enough. What are you doing? <laughs> you look older than I thought. <laughs> me? I'm James. My grandpa runs this place. Grandpa told me all about you the day you first came here. He was saying something about how you'd make a great sacrifice. Hey! What's a sacrifice? Whatever it is, it sounds like fun. <laughs> yes, thanks James. Oh, Catherine was in here, see? I had no idea, but if I checked my map, I would have known. You can get a banana peel by eating a banana. You can also get a banana peel, because Gregory just picked up James's banana peel and put it in the trash. There's a trash uh, can in the kitchen where you can find a banana peel. So that just tells me I can switch between key items on R1. James does have a tendency to follow you around. He's kind of annoying. He's not really harmful, though. He just follows you around because he's a little kid, you know? Let's check our map. Where is Catherine? Catherine is... is headed this way? I think she's doing a loop of the hotel. So if we can get her to slip on a banana peel, that could work. If we put a banana peel here... <laughs> Got it. Oh, a little while I put a banana peel on the floor, Catherine slipped on it and went curse flat. <laughs> you want to try it sometime too, tee hee hee. See? You, you get more overt clues and you get kind of like more uh, obscure clues. And by talking to people and looking around, that's how you will find out. Right, so Catherine hopefully, if we check our map, is come. Yes, yeah, she's coming this way. Now, I'm pretty sure she won't slip on a banana peel walking over it, but when she sees us, she will run and go splat. Providing Gregory doesn't come and pick up this banana peel, that could also happen. Oh god, here comes Gregory. Don't worry about it, Gregs. I've got it. What is Catherine doing? She's patrolling that corridor, so we're going to have to go and take this banana peel and put it in that corridor. No, nope, I want the banana peel. Echo Zombie is, is talking to himself. We'll just have a quick look. We're not going to spend an awful lot of our time spying in this game. Although that is the main point of the game. Catherine's blood fetish got her fired from the hospital. And she still has the habit. Yes, she does. 
but it doesn't matter if your blood's drawn or not. We all die someday. Nice. Thanks for that, Nico Zombie. Now, we are not going to try and read everything anyone says, because we just do not have the time. Um, God, Catherine, where are you? Right, okay. This should be a good place to put it, then. Somewhere in the middle of this corridor. And then we will come up here, and we will wait for Catherine to approach. And scare her. Make her run onto the banana peel. Now she's coming the other way. My god. See, this is what's kind of annoying about this game, is the characters have a mind of their own. Sometimes they will follow their routine, but if their routine gets interrupted, they might do something strange. Um, I imagine a lot of the routing is going to, uh, for speedrunning, it's probably based around the fact that uh, people are going to be in a certain place in a certain time, and if, if you do something to disrupt that, I can imagine it will just be utter chaos. So, is Catherine on her way here? Yes! Here she comes. So, um, we just wait for her. Lying in wait with a trap ready to be sprung. Now, this is an example of a very easy uh, puzzle to work out. But as we go on, some of them will be a bit more tricky. I mean, some of them. Some of them are just as easy as this. <laughs> Here she comes. Oh, she slipped on it. We didn't even have to make her run. She will just not look where she's going. Let's go get the soul. Now, we're actually going to wait and not give this to death. I'm pretty sure we have a choice in that. on the warpath. If she gets you, it'll be needle time. <laughs> it's gone! It's gone! My soul, it's gone! That kid must have taken it. Now I'm really angry. When you've stolen an assault from one of the guests, and that guest spots you, he or she will start to chase you. If you get caught, you'll be forced to watch a horror show. Oh, the humanity. What we will do at the end of the game, provided we haven't seen any horror shows, uh, we will um, watch everybody's what can horror you do show. About it? Simple. Just run away. We'll load up a save, and just go find people and let them hurt us. <laughs> And you can see what they all look like. Because they're all slightly different. Now, one last thing. Yes. Around here, the power of your beliefs is everything. Is our sanity meter. If your mental gauge, the strength of your mental mind, gauge even. drops to zero, you'll never be able to escape from this place. What's that? I saved the worst for last? Yes. Sorry about that. As long as you're in the hotel, your mental gauge will decrease little by little. If you're forced to watch a horror show, your mental gauge will drop big time. If the gauge drops to zero, you'll be stuck in the hotel forever. To replenish the mental gauge, you'll need to get plenty of sleep, make use of herb-type items, and refresh your mind by reading. Your mental gauge represents good the strength for life, of your mind. So whenever you're carrying a soul, it'll resonate with your mind and make it stronger for a while. That means you have to consider when you're going to hand a soul over to death. Also, when you're starting to lose your wits, use an herb item to restore your mental power. Plus, by reading a good book, Yes, you can actually increase your mental gauge. 
Why am I telling you all this? I'm just worried about you. That's all. See? Nekozom is very nice. Alright. Tomorrow, you'll be going after Judgment Boy's soul. Yes. Judgment Boy is an interesting character, because he doesn't have a horror show. Do you know Judgment Boy? In fact, he won't ever attack you, I don't think. Do you know my name? Judgment! Judgment! Judgment Boy came to the hotel to pass final judgment on troubled hearts. You did a good job today. Now, go back to your room and get some rest. Tomorrow's another big day. Judgment Boy, um, he has a set of scales. One has money or, or a dollar sign in it, and the other has love or a heart in it. And he will pass judgment. <laughs> Good luck there, buddy. Yes, we're going to go visit death now, but we're not going to hand over our soul. We're just going to get some sleep so that our gauge is tip top. Come on now. Give it up. Throw away all them worries. Welcome to Stream X. Oh, it's you! Did you manage to pick up any souls? I did, but so we're gonna hang on to it if that's all said to you. One, huh? Shall I take it? So you see here, with every other soul afterwards, you have a choice. We're gonna hold on to them. Good luck there, buddy! Who's amazing? <laughs> well then. I better start I getting better ready start to receive getting the new guest. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. So not all the ground floor doors were open at this point, but now they are. So, like I said, we're going to be holding on to our soul for a while. At least until we get Judgment Boy's soul. And we're going to start consulting our map a lot more often now. We're going to make a safety save. I think Judgment! Catherine, for the moment, is going to be spending a lot of time in her room. Uh, the nurse's room. Do you know my name? Judgment! Judgment what? Boy is very excited. Lips, wasn't now that it? I look at you more closely, I see you've got an awful lot on your mind. If you ever want my help, just bring a symbol of your problem. Then I'll give you one of my special judgments. Judgment! <laughs> Do you know my name? Judgment! Um, so, um... This is the save point. We're going to make a safety save. We're going to make a safety save game. pretty much all the time, right. unfortunately. Um, but it doesn't take too long to save. We're going to overrun the, the run from last week. Right, what we're going to do... Uh, Judgment Boy... He offers you a scenario, usually. If you present him with an item, he will offer you a scenario, and he will ask you what you would do in that scenario. Now, no matter which answer you give, he will say that you took the, the wrong answer and that you chose money over love. The only way to get him to hand over his soul is to actually have him pass a judgment that is uh, you picked love instead of money. And the only way to do that is to present him with an item called a self-help book because it shows you want to improve yourself, I guess. Uh, that's the logic behind it. However, you don't have access to the self-help book yet. What you have to do is to have someone take a look at you and think you are so depraved 
that they tell you you should go and find a self-help book. <laughs> and um, through looking around, poking around the hotel, you will find an item uh, that would make people question just how morally and ethically good you are. And that is pornography. So we are going to go and grab the pornography. Now, you may have a guess about where the pornography is. It's in Catherine's room. It's in Catherine's room. She is a little bit naughty. And here is the dirty book. You can also see that in Catherine's room, she's been having a lot of fun giving her bed a blood test. Yes, we're gonna, we're gonna go grab the pornography. It's not the first time that we're gonna need the pornography, by the way. Also, you can tell that Catherine has a bit of a crush on a character we haven't met yet. Uh, this character, we will be meeting him later on. Uh, take a look out for him. He's He's got a big candle on his head. You, you can't miss it, you can't miss it. Uh, we're also gonna take this uh, health kit. Oh, bandage, okay. Let's check outside. Coast is clear. Right, what we need to do, Gregory is the owner of this dirty book. And this dirty book makes its way around the hotel. I guess everyone like looks at it at some point. But it is Gregory's, and Gregory is very interested to have it back. So uh, we're going to present Gregory with it um, so that he tells us we need to like improve ourselves. That he absolutely must confiscate this dirty book from us. Um, you would find this all out just by experimenting, talking to people with different items equipped, spying on people, etc. Um, but I'm, for the sake of brevity, so that we can complete the game, uh, we're going to present him with it. What is Gregory talking about in here? He's cleaning. Hmm, what a day. I can't find it anywhere. <laughs> that book always gives me a lift when I'm tired. <laughs> it's pretty good, even when not tired. <laughs> He's such a dirty old man. I think we know which book he's talking about. Ah, yes. Welcome, Bounty. It's Hotel California, the game. Hey, Gregory. Ah, uh, how nice to see you. And what can I do for you? Huh? Oh, oh, where did you find that book? You don't say. You found it in Catherine's room? This is quite serious. I'm afraid I'll I'm have afraid to confiscate, I'll have to confiscate it. it. Oh, dear. And um, it doesn't matter whether you... Uh, choose to give it to him or defend it with your life, uh, he will take it anyway. Um, so, chat, what should we do? Hand it over or guard it with our life? It's incredibly pointless. But I'll take the first option that you give me. With our life. I'm afraid it's no use. <laughs> you know, I think you should read something more tasteful. You should read something more tasteful. Like, not only is he going to take his pornography back, but he's going to judge you for having it. Not this piece of... <clears throat> this book. This book. If you're looking for such a book, Welcome I suggest you try the first floor library. So as you can see, we, we did this last week when we played a little bit of the game, so you haven't missed any of the game yet. You, we're just getting up to speed with where I'm we were. I'm sure a little reading will make all of your worries melt away. So he's directing me to the first floor library. Now then. He needs to go off and, and be somewhere with that book. <laughs> he's um he's a dirty, dirty old man. Mouse. Um oh, I didn't check the map. Okay, we're, we're alright. Off he goes. So happy. Now, where is Catherine? Catherine's in the corridor on the doing? other side of the hotel. We're, we're fine. We are going to grab the self-help book. <laughs> um, we were we were talking about this game last week, and Bounty mentioned that it's kind of like Hotel California, and it definitely does have that vibe. 
I mean, it's a hotel. It's kind of supernatural. You can't escape. It's, um, I think it fits really nicely, actually, the theme of the, uh, the game. Plus, it's a fucking kick-ass song. I mean, let's face it. We're gonna pick up some reading books. Because we can just put them in our, um, bookshelf in our room. Uh, you can only read so many books at once before you actually get tired. Oh, here's Judgment Boy. So, I'm going to talk to Judgment, Judgment! Boy. I have the self-help book. If I didn't have the self-help book, self book and I had the dirty book, um, I would fail this moral judgment. But I'm going to succeed because I have the self-help book. Well then, it's time to judge which path your future will take. You're a charming young woman who's accidentally wandered into a hotel from another dimension. Also, usually these scenarios are hypothetical, but this one is actually the scenario we're faced with. This is what's happening to us. There's only one way to get back to the real world. You must collect lost souls. But the hotel is full of danger. You can't run and you can't hide. So, what do you do? Oh, by the way, Axe, no steely knives in this game, unfortunately. No weapons of any kind, I don't think. Um, we are not going to give up. Alrighty then, let's ask the scales of truth! Which will it be? Money or love? Money or Only love? Only the scales, Only know, the for scales sure. know for sure. Here we Judgment! go. Here we go. He didn't drop the heart, he dropped the dollar sign. It shattered into pieces. In the end, no matter how tough things got, you never gave up. At last, you followed the path you had created for yourself and found your way back to the real world. And that's the truth. See ya. See ya. <laughs> uh, if you play this game for any length of time, you will start to quote it all of the you time. You bravely faced your fears and followed the correct path. I'll give you a fabulous prize! It's a soul. The prize is always a soul. <laughs> okay, what we're going to do is we're going to drop all of our books off. Know my name. Judgment! Um, we're going to read, and then we're going to go to sleep. Oh, I need to be on the right shelf. Here we go. There we go. And we're going to do some reading. Just to increase our gauge and make it a bit bigger. Uh, what should we read? Let's read back in time. You can read too much at once, so try not to do that. But we're going to read one more. We're going to read one more. <laughs> My bid's starting to get the white in it too. Okie dokie. We're going to go to sleep. Sometimes you can hear voices in this room, by the way. I'll tell you about those at the end of the game. Give it up! Throw away all them worries. We are at a point where we cannot progress with the story until we've given uh, death these two souls. Oh, it's you! Did you manage so to we're gonna have to hand these souls over. So you brought two of them along, is that right? Hmm. Shall I take it? <laughs> yes, you shall. Hey, thanks a lot. Here, I'll stamp your card for you. Well, would you look at that? While we've been here jabbering, a whole bunch of new guests moved in, and they got souls too. Good luck there, buddy! I'm not sure who makes these cards, if they even exist, or if they're just kind of metaphysical in nature, but sure, stamp my card.
<laughs> Gregory, that child that just moved in is so adorable. My Catherine, you certainly know quality when you see it. <laughs> oh, I've just got to get some of that blood. Now, now, let's not be hasty. <laughs> so lively and spirited. Oh, your mother will be thrilled. Indeed, she will. But remember, Catherine, neither dead nor alive. Catherine, are you listening to me? Don't worry. This time I'll make sure there's no escape! <laughs> Catherine's really into her work. Spirited. But how long will I be able to hide this secret from Mama? <laughs> Can't you just be quiet? I'm so hungry. Oh dear, oh dear. Why can't you just be quiet? You're upsetting our guest. I hope you can get out soon. Yes. Onika zombie. Catherine gives awkward vibes? Maybe. Maybe Catherine gives off kind of like... I think she gives off Lady Dimitrescu vibes, but like 15 years early. Moving right along. <laughs> He's moving right along. Now the first floor is now open to receive us. the new guests. Now to meet the new guests. Mummy, mummy, just mummy, papa, and mummy dog. Okay, let me pull up the map and I'll talk to you about what we're going to do next. So you can see here we haven't met um, mummy dog, mummy papa, um, cactus gunman, cactus uh, sister, or cactus girl, whatever her name is, and um, who else was there? Lost doll. So their faces aren't on the map yet, but as soon as we meet them and see them, their dots will be their faces. This game is so weird in the best possible way. And by the way, it's Capcom. So Lady Dimitrescu, a unlockable giant syringe. They they own the rights. They own the rights. Um, is she gonna be like Jack Baker in eight? I have no idea. I've been avoiding all of the videos. I want for a Resident Evil 8 to be a complete surprise. Um, so, we now have three more souls that we can steal. Lost Doll, uh, Mummy Dog and Mummy Papa, and Cactus Gunman and Cactus Girl. Um, they only have one soul per piece, those two pairs of characters. Um, so, the whole idea is you would carry on spying on people, uh, as well as avoiding Catherine at this point. Uh, if Catherine catches us, she will try to steal a soul off us if we've got one. If not, she will hurt us. Um, okay, let's um, let's cut to the chase. So, lost doll. Um, she's really upset because her doll is missing. And through looking around the hotel, you will come to realize that uh, her doll is actually in Gregory's shop. Gregory has a shop on the premises, and you need to simply trade some items to get that doll so we're gonna go and pick up a few items so that we can trade for the lost doll i might already have enough but we're just gonna make sure also we need to do our safety save as well i forgot about that completely so let's do the safety save because we're right here save Thank you. 
We will be back, Ruby. Okay, so there are items dotted around the place. We can just pick stuff up. <laughs> she does look a little bit worried. Like, actually, we're not doing too badly, but there are status effects. Yes, green herbs. Someone is, is having a good old time in the jacuzzi. It's James. Shoot. What? <laughs> Bless James, he's kind of pure. So, what do we have in here? We have a book. Hello, James. <laughs> this hotel is quite big, don't what you think? What are you doing? Yes, it is. Oh, he's going to follow me around now. How many slots do I have left? I only have two slots left. Um, each item has a uh, what's like called star value, depending on how rare it is or good an item it is. Um, up to I think five stars. And lost doll is a two-star item, so I think we only need two stars worth of item. Either we could trade two ones or a two, or anything past a two, but we wouldn't get any change, if that makes sense. There's no money, it's just based on the, uh, the status of an item, and we trade for things. Right, let's check our map. Okay, still safe. It is a bit like Claire's outfit, isn't it? Yeah, Bounty mentioned that last week as well. It's Claire Redfield in, in Hotel California. Um, if it was a podcast, I would give it that title. Do you know my name? Judgment! Also, by the way, um, uh, so when I requested on last on Axton's channel last night, um, uh, the Gregory Horror Show death character sound clip, um, I said I'd provide it for him, so I went and found it on YouTube. I also found all of the dialogue in the game clean, with no background vocal sounds or anything. Um, so I ripped the shit out of that, and now I've got every voice file from the game. It's amazing. So thank you for that, because, Welcome yeah, it made me Gregory go Shaw. and find it. Right, we are going to exchange for the doll. I think the doll is in sundries. Yes, you can see here. Oh, the doll is a five-star item. So what have we got? got bandage, spring water, green herb, green herb, spring water. We've got five one-star items, so we can just trade. I guess. <laughs> and we're done in the shop. Please, come again. His shop is full of interesting little bits and knickknacks. Some of these are characters from the uh, the series, uh, and other stuff is just like crazy weird bits and pieces. It's even got action figures, wow. Pretty cool. Let's check our map. Like I, I told you, it will not be, it will be something we'll be doing a lot. Um, what else do we need to do? Okay, what time is it? It's seven o'clock in the evening or the morning. I think it's seven o'clock in the... I think it must be the morning because if it was evening, the picture would be different. So I can't get Mummy Dog and Mummy Papa's souls for a while. So what we'll do is we'll get Lost Girl for uh, Lost Doll's soul first. We'll get Cactus Gunman's soul second, and we will get Mummy Papa's and Mummy Dog's soul third. Let's have a little explore of the first floor. First off, we need to find the first floor map. And I'm pretty sure it's around this way. This is the bar I was telling you about. We'll be popping in there later on. In fact, let's pick up an item now, because if we start to... Our mental gauge is already dropping. 
So we can use items to increase our mental gauge. Let's pick up this book. Can't do it from that side, I guess. Ooh. I think this is a pretty good healing item. It usually is. Yes. This kind of replenishes. It comes back every so often. Uh, what else we got in here? Green herb. We will use that right now. Actually, I think the map is in this side of the house. I'm not sure precisely, but I think it is. Those doors we can hear, by the way, are downstairs. Um, mummy Papa or Mummy Dog just came in. Downstairs or something like that. I haven't got their faces yet because I haven't seen them. But soon, soon we'll get their faces. Ah, I think it might be this room. This door is locked. I thought he unlocked the doors on this floor. This is the map of the first floor. Vital. Vital. We're going to head around. So you can see here there are stairs in each corner of, um, of the map. Stairs there and stairs at the front. You will constantly later on be using uh, routes around the hotel to avoid other people to make sure that they don't hurt you. This is outside. In this wing is where Cactus Gunman lives and where Lost Doll lives. Oh, thank you. I didn't know that that popped up. <laughs> cool. So this is Lost Doll's room. Lost Doll looks cute and innocent. But she has an evil side. Literally. Literally an evil side. Right, so what we're going to do, she will attack. So we're going to drop her doll outside the floor. And we're going to knock on her door. And we're going to run. Here she comes. While she is busy with her dolly. We will take the song. Okay. Now everything is a little bit more stressful because we don't need people to take our souls. That's really bad. Everyone's so cute. Yes. We snatched the soul. Oh, let's top up. Because our health is down quite a bit. Uh, we'll go this way. You can see that this is Cactus Gunman's room. And this is his sister's room. There's also a save room here, so I'll tell you what, we're just going to pop another safety save. Just in case. Because something will go wrong, because I'm live broadcasting. So... <laughs> What's in room 302? Mm, not a lot, because there isn't a third floor. <laughs> but nice, I dig it, I dig it. So, Cactus Gunman, if you spy on him for a while, what you will find out about him is he is increasingly paranoid. Super, super, super paranoid. Space. Space is in room 302. Um... He's a romantic, you can see here, 
that he's um he's kind of got the hots for me. In fact, yes, he's really got the hots for me. Oh boy. But he's also incredibly paranoid. This is Cactus uh, Girl's room, his sister. Uh, I'd like to know how she got the infinite, like, sunset. It's pretty cool. I'd like that in my room, to be perfectly honest. Um, what have I got? Um, let's... Have a drink and make some room. There's a book here and there's a book there. I think I can't do this up. Yeah. We're going to use the green herb. Right. Where is Cactus Gunman? He's in the bar. Really? Could be someone else. It's time for a showdown with my brother. Cactus Girl is very possessive of her brother. She looks after him. Oh, I can hear someone. Uh... Lost Doll. Okay, Lost Doll might be aggressive now. Because she doesn't have a doll anymore. Interesting. Let's go and find out who it is in the bar. Because as soon as we can put a, a face icon on top of that little blue diamond, we will know who is who and who is wandering around. Catherine's going into the dining room. It is Cactus Gunman. My name is Cactus Gunman. I'm afraid of getting hurt. That reminds me of when I got mixed up with Mummy Papa in the nurse's room. I heard he passed out in the library the other day. He did. Mm -hmm. Poor guy. Funny though, he doesn't seem to be sick or anything. Yes. So Mummy Papa and Mummy Dog are kind of hypochondriacs. Like... They keep saying, complaining of headaches and saying that there's something wrong with them. But it's questionable as to whether there is. Aside from the fact they've both got cleavers in their heads. <laughs> I mean, that might be the source of their headache. Um, so I don't know if it's like a comment on hypochondriacs or if it's a comment on gaslighting. Because, like, everyone's saying there's nothing wrong with them and they've got, like, massive blades in their heads. Um, it's just one of the many, many quirks of this game. Um, okay, we're going to drop down here, and we're going to go spy on Mummy Papa and Mummy Dog, so we can get their icons on our map. We're playing it a bit dangerous, because Catherine is right in the dining room. Let's have a quick peek, see if she's got anything interesting to say. <laughs> yes, I'm sure I could. <laughs> ah, so Mummy Papa has moments where he doesn't fight back. Interesting. We're just going to mosey on over here. Someone's in the lounge. Who's in the lounge? James. James is watching Sentai Power Rangers. What did you see through the keyhole, James? What did... Mummy Pup was feeling sick and resting in bed. What a wuss. He should watch TV, that always makes me feel better. So what we're seeing here is that Mummy Papa uh, is incapacitated at times. He passes out, and that's a point where we could choose to steal his soul. Ooh. <laughs> 
noise by the way that chunk like chime sound means that you've heard everything that they've got to say which is useful so you don't wait around for ages um i wonder why mummy dogs oh i think it's because whoever you're spying on like gets revealed interesting okay so what we're gonna do now is cactus gunman in his room cactus gunman is in his room so we're gonna go back upstairs And we're gonna get Cactus Gunman's soul. Let's check for Catherine first. Yep, she's still in the dining room. We've gotta watch out because if Lost Doll is in the corridor, she's gonna try and steal our soul, which is very, very bad news. And she is in the corridor. Great. She might be far enough away that it's not going to be an issue. We'll see. Yep, yeah, that's the game telling me that Lost Doll is close. Oh, 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 who's that? We're going to hide in Cactus Girl's room. Don't scare me like that. It takes more than just one knock to scare this hombre. Really, how many knocks does it take, Cactus Gunman? Uh oh. Uh oh. Go away. Go away. Go away. Okay. Back. No! No, 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 no! We're getting the hell out of there. We might have to get the lost doll item again. No, 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 no. <laughs> We're safe in our room, okay? We are always safe in our room. We're always safe in our room. Save rooms. Um, interesting. Okay. Let's uh, let's do some reading. Get rid of some of these books. Oh, hang on. I've got to put them on the shelf first. That was close. <laughs> oh, so this is the memo. You can see here, I've spied on... I spied on Gregory when he was cleaning in the jacuzzi. Uh, the changing room for the jacuzzi. He's cleaning the changing room with care. It looks like he's been using that room for years. So you can see here, I've spied on various people. I've started to fill out their schedules. In fact, one of those James blocks will be him watching TV. Yeah, Wimp Brigade. <laughs> the dreary theme song is a big hit too. Um, Lost Doll. When she was in her room, we were, we were spying on her then. Uh, mummy dog and mummy papa. If a split is like this, where it's kind of split in two, it means that sometimes they'll be doing one thing and sometimes they'll be doing another thing. It varies depending on the day. Because uh, I believe there are days of the week as well. I'm not sure how you see what day of the week it is. Maybe it's on the menu. No. I guess you just have to kind of like know by spying on people. We're going to read another book or two because our, our health bar is going down really quickly. I guess we'll read the second one. I mean, it's just a stupid OCD thing for me, but I like to read the books in order. 
even in a game where it doesn't matter. Oh, I've got a state of saying, what have I got? I'm tired, I need to go to sleep. Alright, we're going to go to sleep, but we're not going to hand the soul over to death. Uh, we're going to hold on to it. Come on now! Give it up! It helps us out. Throw away all them worries. I'm going to skip this, because you guys have seen it before. Oh! So, shall I take... Oh, I handed it over by accident. Shoot. Hey, hey, thanks... Hey, All right, well, I guess I don't have a song. Good luck there, buddy! It's all right. It's okay. We still have Mummy Popper and Mummy Dog and Cactus Gunman. What time is it now? It's close to 12. Ooh. So we're going to go and check out the library. He's already there. He's passed out. I just noticed there's a book here, so I'm going to grab it. You'd only find this out by spying on Mommy Papa, following him around, etc. But yeah, he passes out at this time every day uh, in the library. Not sure why. Kind of like a Cluedo, or Clue, as you Americans would say. Um, we're going to make a safety save. We've got a soul now, which will help with our health bar. Uh, all we need now is Cactus Gunman's soul, and we can move on to the next set of guests. So, is Cactus Gunman in his room? Yes, and Lost Doll looks like she might be in her room, not outside her room. Which would be really good. So... Let's go. Hopefully she continues to stay in her room for just a little bit longer. But you can see already um, that we now have to avoid a certain amount of people and it's only going to get worse. <laughs> it's only going to get worse. Well, who's coming out? Cactus Gunman. It was you! You're the assassin that tried to steal my soul! Sorry to disappoint you, but I'm not giving up that easy. That was him leaving. So I wonder where he's going. Hopefully he's going to return to his room. Huh? She's still pissed about the banana peel. That's kind of funny. Right, where's Cactus Gunman? Is he is he off to his room again? I really hope he's going back to his room. I don't know why he left his room. We'll just wait here. I think you can do like a peeking thing. Yes. We can do a peeking thing on corners. 
I'm like MGS. We're in MGS now. Here he comes. He's going back into his room. Yes. Okay. And Lost Doll has come out of her room. Fuck's sake. Okay, do you know what? We're just going to go and get Lost Doll's doll back. That's going to be the quickest, easiest thing to do. What items have I got? Have I got anything on me? I have darkness, by the way. Um, one star. I think there might be two stars and two stars. So that might be enough for five. I'm just going to get a doll back because it's easier. Yeah, you can see that because I have darkness, um, it basically means that the area is actually darker around me. I can see less. Welcome to Greg. Okay, we want the doll again. God knows how it got back here. Well, it's not fair at all, Gregory, to be honest. I already paid for this thing, but fuck you. Okay. What are you doing? Oh, go away, James. <laughs> no, I need that back. No, I need that back. Thank you. James, I need you to vanish. Like, just disappear. Stop following me around. <laughs> Who is that? Cactus Gunman. Is he coming out or going in? He's going in. Oh, thank goodness. Right, okay. Right. Her dolly is just here. So she should see her dolly. Shoot. <laughs> oh, thank God. Right, okay. We're going to knock on Cactus Gunman's room. I said we're going to knock on... Ca oh, my God. Lost doll. We're going to knock on his door. We're going to hide in his sister's room. We're going to do this. You have to do this three times. Don't scare me like that. Let me through. I know you can let me through. Let me through. How did I get through the first time? Oh my god, it's Catherine. Oh my... Oh my god, what is going on here? Fucking hell. Alright, you know what? It's fine, because if Cactus Gunman goes somewhere else, we can do it on any room. It doesn't have to be his room. Okay? So actually, it would suit me down to the ground if Cactus Gunman just fucked off somewhere else. Adios! I'm the fastest cactus in the West. You better give up. <laughs> He's coming this way. Obviously, we won't get audio cues because we're not in that corridor. We're waiting for him to clear past the stairs. Oh, he's coming downstairs. Of course he is. Yeah. Player's not having a good time. Right, so where has Cactus Gunman gone? 
Oh my god, he's halfway around the hotel already. There might be a cure to blindness in the nurse's room. Not really. Use it when you've got a boo boo. My health is so bad. Oh my god, again? Oh my god. There might be legitimacy in kind of like spamming the back button and X just to um get back into the room you were in. There's Mummy Papa. See here, it's starting to become a bit of a clusterfuck already. Um, <laughs> Mummy Papa doesn't skip like they. Where's Cactus Gunman? He's just hanging out in the corridor. Really? I mean, honestly, you wouldn't think I was holding on to a soul how fast my health bar's going down. Here comes Cactus Gunman. If he's coming to this room, we're screwed. Oh, thank God. He's going into the TV lounge. Right. What we're going to do is we're going to knock three times on the TV lounge. Knock, knock. In we go. Look through the door. Don't scare me like that. Thankfully, you can do this in any room that he's in, which is really useful. If it had to be just his bedroom, we'd be so screwed. Don't scare me like that. You can't scare me with just the two little knocks. was a drive by judgment by the way yeah he just he just goes around judgment boy you don't have to worry about he's fine somebody's out to get me <laughs> who are you <laughs> and we have our third soul Thank goodness for that. It was really touch and go for a moment there. Right, let's consult our map. Mummy Papa is in his room. Catherine's in her room. So hopefully, if Catherine doesn't pop out of her room, we should be fine to go back to our room. Don't pop our books. Oh my god, look at my mental gauge. It's really bad. I think sleeping cures all ail ailments, though. Oh my god, here comes Cactus Gunman. I need... Yeah, I need anything I can get my hands on, basically. Scissor Salad. Where's Cactus Gunman? Okay, he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Let's 
just Judgment Boy. Judgment Boy's A okay. He doesn't do anything to us. Evening subcut. <laughs> Evening lips. Nice. You can see here, you, the more stuff you view of characters doing things, uh, you get little figures appear on this desk. Let's drop off all of our books. No. I think holding the red handkerchief helps us. I'm not sure. Uh, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. We need to do some reading. Not of the memo. No worries, Axton. Thanks for dropping by. And the VOD will, will always live on YouTube because I kind of want this to live as like a presentation of the game. So you can always just pick up where you left off if you feel like it as well. Okay, let's read some of these books. I'm not sure if reading a whole series like helps more. Um, it might. Is there a spherical head buff? Uh, no, unfortunately. We are all cubes. We live in a cube world. Um, so what have I done now? I'm just tired. I'm just tired. We're gonna go to sleep. Time to hand our souls over to death. Meet Come a few more now. residents of Give the hotel. Throw away all them worries. Oh, it's you. Did you manage to pick up any souls? I did. So you brought two of them along. Is that right? Oh, yes. Shall I take it? <laughs> it's very cool to explain this game. I don't think there is a single character that isn't like. Hey, thanks a I, lot. I can't think of any yeah, round characters. I can't, honestly. <laughs> yeah, Gregory's house. This, like, the whole point of the game, and you will see with the ending, is that there's kind of a comfort in Gregory's house. Things are a bit dangerous. Things are a bit creepy. But there's also kind of comfort. so good. There, this will fix you right up. Ah, good. Well, He's got rid of our status elements. That. While we've been here jabbering, a whole bunch of new guests moved in, and they got souls too. So we've got three more souls to get, and also we've now got three, four, five, six people to avoid. Catherine, Mummy Papa, Mummy Dog, Cactus Girl, Cactus Gunman. Lost up. I think. Yeah. Good luck there, buddy. You might be thinking I miscounted, but we don't have to worry about Judgment Boy or Neko Zombie. They don't want their souls back. <laughs> it's the lady from the save point. I am seeing flames. Flames of deepest crimson. You shall soon be consumed by the flames of ruin. What are you babbling about? What a complete load of baloney. You cannot escape your fate. Listen to the frog, Gregory. Listen to the frog. She knows what she's talking about. Judgment! Here we have a hotel manager trapped in a prophecy of doom. What will you do? What will you do? For the love of... I'm surrounded by idiots. Gregory, your mother was looking for you. What? I, I, I don't remember being summoned. So are you hiding something? 
Or is your conscience clear? What is it, Gregory? My conscience is clear. I'm not hiding anything from Mama. Here we go. Ooh. Heart because of you, your pieces. Mama's precious souls were stolen. You're in deep trouble. That's the truth, buddy boy. See ya. Gregory! <laughs> Mama, he's lying! It's all a bunch of lies! Silence! I knew there were too few souls. Care to explain? Mama, you've got the wrong idea! I'll see you later in my room. Oh, no! Gregory's mama is very scary. What a day. <laughs> I love these little cutscenes of Gregory just doing the rounds, unlocking the doors and stuff. I really didn't want to unlock this door, but... We now have access to the basement floors. The first thing we're going to do is head down to the basement because there's lots of cool stuff down there. This is TV Fish. Uh, he's a fish, he's a TV. This is Roulette Boy. Spin it! Spin it! Spin the wheel! Single handedly the most the annoying guest. Is in the sauce. Smoking is cuisine's foe. This is Hell Chef. His enemies are people who smoke because they can't taste his food. <laughs> also, you may recognize him uh, because Catherine has got a lot of posters of him in her room. She really likes Hell's Chef. She's got a bit of a crush. Right. We're going to go do a safety save and then we are heading into the basement. Uh, in the basement, we can get the maps for the basement, and we can get a load of um, items. We'll also open up the levels of the basement so that we've got them to use. Save because this something game. about the basement is that not a lot of the guests actually spend time down there. But if someone is following you, you can lose them down there. It's it's a lot of corridors that you can just kind of like lose people in. It's very good. The third night, the hidden truth. The uh, the quickest way to the basement actually is just through a door opposite the jacuzzi. Who is that in the library? It's just James. If it was someone new, I would spy on them just so we would get them on our map. So we can see their face on the map. Um there is someone in the kitchen. I think you can probably guess who might be in the kitchen. But we will spy just so that we can get him on our map. Oof. So, there's some neat stuff down in the basement. I already told you that, but at least now we've got him on our map. Also, I think there are some herbs that kind of replenish out here. So we will take some with us. So that we can keep our strength up down in the basement. Me and my dolly. A true story. Starring Lost Doll. So, this is the basement. We're probably going to get darkness status ailment, uh, which makes everything dark. There's not really much I can do about that. You need eye drops to cure it. And, um, well, we just ain't got any time to find eye drops. We just need to focus on what we're doing. Yep, almost instantly I've got darkness. Great. Um, we're just going to explore the basement a bit. Oh! Nice. And here's the map. I love the basement music, by the way. 
So good. Um, okay, we want to explore this area. We'll have a look and explore. It's very easy to pick up too much stuff in this basement. This is a key item, it's a dead remote. Dead remote, TV fish. Dead remote, TV fish. I sense a plan brewing in my brain. Um, what is this? Oh, we'll take this. We can just kind of burn through the health items while we're down here. So we will do that. This looks like it's... Is this Roulette Boy's room? It's not Roulette Boy's, like, proper full room. This is where he stays. Where he sleeps, I think. What? There's no bed. Fucking hell, Roulette Boy. Roulette Boy is the most annoying because Roulette Boy has a whole minigame attached to his, uh, his soul. Someone's rolling around. It's just Judgment Boy, it's fine. This door is locked. Can't go to heaven or hell, I'm afraid. Not yet. That's Roulette Boy. He's, um... He will just run away from you until you've found a key item that he needs. Ooh. Lots of stuff in here. It's kind of a grow room. Um... Okay. There we are, we've got a full health bar. Unfortunately, you cannot mix herbs like in Resident Evil. It's more that just different herbs have different levels of healing. Unfortunately. I know, I know I'm sad about it too. We don't need an empty can, it's fine. Uh, the fact that our inventory is full though is going to be a bit annoying. I guess I'll use the eye drops now. Can I just drop this? Yeah, we don't need that. There we go. It's a bit less dark now. Judgment! Boy. So I pressed X on him, and he's just going to offer me a hypothetical. This is what usually happens, and um, no matter what you pick, he will say that you picked the wrong option. You're a student with a secret crush. Now you're all alone at a bus stop with that special someone. So, what will you do? This is your chance to score, so what will you do? Um, even if we go for it. Alrighty then, let's ask the scales of truth! Which will it Here be, money or love? Only the scales know for sure. Judgment! Here we go! You lost your nerve and ran away. Later, you convinced yourself that you never had a chance in the first and place. And that's the truth. That's See ya. the truth. See ya. Um, so that's what happens if you uh, do any other kind of judgment with Judgment Boy. He will give you a scenario and tell you that you failed. Um, okay, we are all done. No, we're not quite done with this direction yet. It's okay, that's just Roulette Boy. He thought he saw me, but he didn't. This is what we're looking for. This switch will open a trap door somewhere in the basement that allows us to go down to the next floor of the basement. The reason why we're unlocking all of this stuff now is because you do not want to do it with someone on your tail. You just want the way to be clear, trust me. Plus you need to pick up a few items, like the dead remote. Roulette Boy will just run away, it's fine. Uh, let's consult our map. 
Okay, this is the correct time. We got his. Where do we get his dice from? Oh, it's it's on a further basement level. I have a guide open just to remind me of key things. Um, because it's been a couple of years since I last played this game. I mean, I remember most of it. It's just a couple of bits that I don't exactly remember. Right, we've opened this trap door now. The other corridors just head to. Oh, I tell you what else we will do. Yes, yes, yes. We'll go through here, because there is a shortcut to inside the hotel. You know how I came through outside? Like, it was a little outhouse that I went into? Um, there is... There are, rather, stairs up to inside the house. You actually come out right next to Catherine's, uh... Not Catherine's room where she stays, but Catherine's nurse room. Uh, I guess the infirmary. Um, and we want to unlock that door. Because it means we'll be able to just dip down here into the basement when we need to. Is there anyone out there? No, we're good. So we're just going to unlock this door. It will save so much time later. So, Roulette Boy, the only place that you can challenge him is in his in that room there. And you need to bring a key item, and when you do, you will play his game. Roulette Boy likes to play a little game. Um, and it's kind of annoying. But there is a way to cheat. <laughs> we are on our way to the second floor of the basement now. Okay, what's on the second floor? I can't remember. Oh, we don't have the map yet, but we will find it. It should be just in our path somewhere. Let's uh, pop one of these right now. How are you all enjoying the game so far? It's, it's quirky and weird, I appreciate. Um, so this is survive 72 hours ancestor your health is going down you need to get stuff done while consuming something to keep from dying it's true I'm glad you're liking about it yeah it's it's weird but it's fun okay right but we still don't have the map yet um, really sure it's somewhere around here Here's the switch for the next trap door. There are only three levels of the basement, and we're on basement two, so we've not got much more to do. Cool. I'm glad you're liking it. It's one of my favourites, and, like, unfortunately, like I said at the very start um, of the stream, uh, it can have two reactions with people. One person will go, what the fuck, I hate it. And, and other people go, what the fuck, I like it. Yeah, sometimes you can kind of like put yourself out of the line and show people something you think is cool and they will just like burn you. I remember in um, secondary school, I had these friends and I went around their house once and um, I was really into this game called Um Jamalami. It's basically a sequel to Parappa the Rapper, um, if you've ever played that game. Oh, what's this? Is this the map? This is probably the map. Excellent. Okay. Yeah, exactly. So I, I showed them this really cool game called Unjamalami that I really liked. And they just, like, made fun of me the whole time. And I know you're like, you, you would say, like, oh, well, they're not very good friends. Yeah, no shit, they were horrible friends. But I, I was desperate to be liked at the time, you know, secondary school. Yeah. And now I'm of the age, like, I'm confident enough to go, well, fuck you, I like this thing, I don't care what you think. 
but at the time I was like, it's like, like I like this thing. Like, I'm just trying to share a cool thing with you. Why? Why are you being like this? Okay, we need the map. Um, we are actually full. Um, we eat a banana. Now we have a banana peel again. That's fine. If Catherine shows up, we might be able to use that just to stop her in her tracks. Um, cures all ills. Excellent. Yeah, we'll hold on to that. Abandoned society returned to not giving a fuck. Yes. Yes. How I stop learned to stop worrying and stop giving a fuck. Uh, it took some time. A couple years. I had to get a bit older. Right. Okay. Uh, I guess we will use the energy drink. I'm gonna take this with us. So we are looking for one more map. And there's also one more um, trapdoor that we need to unlock. This is the map, I hope. Shit. Um. Shit, shit, shit. Alright. Easy come, easy go. Ah, here we go. Now, you'd be thinking to yourself, a trapdoor on the third floor basement? Where does that go to if there isn't a third floor basement? Um, don't ask me. I don't know how the laws of physics works, but it returns us to the ground floor. I don't know why. I don't know how. Don't ask me. I don't know. <laughs> Trapdoor in the third floor basement leads to ground. Nope. Where is the map? Ah, this might be it. Please be it. Hooray! Well, yeah, exactly. I guess I don't have to worry, right? Because it's, it's purgatory or whatever the fuck it is. Um... Uh, okay. Right, so which floor of the basement has got the dice? It's this floor. So we need to come around to this room. I'm pretty sure there should be a dice in here. There sh should be a dice in here. be somewhere else on this floor. Paint the dice in basement level 3. It might be one of those items back in the hallway, actually. I thought it would look like a dice, but it might just look like an item. It's here somewhere. Ah, here it is. Ray! Now, where's the trap door? I opened it, but where is where is it? It's down here. Yes. Okay, we're gonna burn one more healing item because there's another one right here. Yes, speed up. We're gonna need those later. So that just saves us some, some trouble later on. And as you see, we're now on the ground floor. Okay. Right, what we want to do is we want to go back to our room and drop some stuff off. Let's just check the map again. Yeah, we're good. Then, who are we going to deal with first? I guess, like, the hardest soul to deal with is Roulette Boy. So we'll go to Roulette Boy first. Let me just drop this stuff off, and then we will save. And then we'll go play Roulette Boy's game. Right. 
Uh, we want to save this for later. Where's the speed up? We also want to save the Chinese remedy because that cures all status ailments and the eye drops. We'll hold on to the yellow herb and red herb. Um, I think holding the red handkerchief is supposed to be like good for you. I've always done it. I've never put it away. Um, I don't know if it makes a difference to be totally honest. But we're going to do some reading. Yeah, I know we're tired. I know we're tired. One more book. One more book, eh? Judgment. Which is better, bananas or chocolate? Mm. They're both good. How about chocolate covered bananas, yo? Okay, let's get some sleep. If you don't have any souls, you won't meet death. Unfortunately, we've still got a state settlement, so what we're going to do... It looks like death only cures your state settlements if you meet him. So we'll use our Chinese remedy, which will cure everything. Should hopefully cure everything. There we go. Right, we're going to go save. And then we need to amass a couple items so that we can do another trade at Gregory's shop. And also so that we can... Um, uh, no, actually, yeah, just so that we can trade at Gregory's shop. Save? Oh, no, there's another reason we need to amass some items as well. I've just had a look at my guide and remembered who else we have to deal with. So... We are going to overwrite our save. We'll go and do Roulette Boy first, because Roulette Boy is kind of RNG-ish. No worries, Bounty. Um, we actually need to go and grab a load of items and stuff first, so you, you shouldn't miss anything. Um, where are there items that we can trade? Uh, there might be some here again. Oh, someone's in here. Ah. Why are they talking if they're passed out? I'm not going to bother going in there. I don't even see any items anyway, so it's fine. some items outside. Maybe... Well, no, I actually rinsed quite a lot of these items, didn't I? Ah, here we go. These are back. I think sleeping maybe brings these back. So, that's three stars. Um, let's... What's the quickest way to Gregory's shop? There's no one in the kitchen or the dining room, so we can go straight through the kitchen and the dining room. You'll, um, aside from the fact that you'll be staring at a map so much when you play this game, you will get the layout of the hotel, like, ingrained in your brain, which is good. Um, we're going to take whatever this is on the counter. I still got books in my possession. Did I forget to drop my books off? Darn it. Dropping off books helps us help you. I hate smoke. That scared me for a second. <laughs> That's Hell Chef. Um, so, Hell Chef is not trying to get my soul yet because I haven't stolen his soul. Uh, so we don't have to worry about him. Um, he's very uh, worried about the thing that he's cooking. I think he doesn't want anyone to mess with it. I think messing with Hell Chef's cooking might be a bad idea. Might be. Um, so, let's drop off our books. Hmm. 
Who's outside? We're fine. Uh, we'll go this way. Catherine and Cactus Gunman are about, but even if they come into this room, we should have enough time to get into the shop. How are we doing for time? Yeah, we're not too bad. Welcome to Gregory's shop. Makes me smile every time. Um, so we need sundries. Uh, you can see here, battery. Um, so what do we got? Three greens and one yellow should do it. Yes, that seems fair. Um, what else do you have? It has some books. That's pretty cool. He also offers medicines. And drinks. And that's just something how you can exchange Please stuff. Please You don't get changed, by the way. You, 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 if something costs three stars and you trade five stars for it, that's why he asks you if you think it's fair, because he... No take backs. <laughs> um, okay, we can head down to deal with Roulette Boy. Um, this sounds bad, but I'm gonna save again, just to make sure. Because trust me, if Roulette Boy goes wrong for any reason, and it can, very easily, we just want to load up our save file immediately. We don't want to have to go and find things again, we don't want to have to um, uh, do all of that stuff again. We call them safety saves for a reason. So, uh, we want to go into the basement. Our health is not great. We've got one red herb, which will restore quite a lot of our health. Oh, there's something down here. Let's take this with us. Oh, nice. Yeah, we're sorted. So, I'll explain roulette boy's game while we're on our way there. Roulette Boy has a game that's kind of like a board game. I guess if you've ever played Mario Party, it looks kind of like Mario Party. You roll the dice and you move spaces along the board and you can fuck over your opponent. Your opponent in this case will be Gregory. Um, oh, we've gone the wrong way. So, uh, there is a trick though. It isn't random. Uh, if you, I mean, you're spinning a roulette to pick however many turns you're going to take, uh, how many steps you're going to move on the board, and that can be, well, it it is always going to stop on the number that you press X on. So the the, the roulette spinning around really fast. Wherever that roulette is, when you press X, that's where it will stop. Um, so with some careful timing, you can actually choose what numbers you're going to roll. And in doing so, you can check the board, make sure that you're not going to fall on any traps, that you're going to get the most advantageous move possible, and hopefully everything should be right. You will see. You will see the hell that is Roulette Boy. Oh, okay, so I guess we've got to go and find Roulette Boy. Present the dice to Roulette Boy. Where is Roulette Boy? Where does he hang out? Roulette Boy is in there. Uh -oh. Everyone's telling Gregory he's going to have a very bad future.
We'll try knocking on Who's the door. That? Here we go. That worked out fine. So here we go. Because we found his dice and we brought it to him, it's time to play Roulette Boys Roulette. Uh, spin him. Here we go. Now, I would imagine that this no! is a bit of a speedrun killer. Um, when I speedrun the game, this is the bit I'm looking forward to the least. Let's put it that way. Um, do you want me to explain Hell's Roulette to you? Okay, sure. <laughs> Here are the rules for the board game of Hell. Spin, spin the roulette wheel and get to the goal before your Bye -bye. opponent. If your opponent gets there first, or your mental gauge reaches zero, you Here's lose. If you find an item ball along the way, I'll give you an item that you can only use Good here. Job. Even if you land on a white square, you might get lucky and win a bonus <gasps> item. You can use items by choosing item before you spin the wheel. <laughs> you can only have three at a time, so think very carefully about what you want to have. No, we're good. So, here's how it works. It will stop where it's hovering over. I guess I want eight. And I missed. This is, oh right, this determines who goes first. We drew. Yay! Okay, that worked out okay. <laughs> See what I mean? See what I mean? It's already begun. Okay, so it's Garlip's turn. First off, we're going to take a look at the board. How do we do that? View the map. Okay, so you can see here, you can count out your spaces and work out what you're going to do. Um, so we need... We want a five or a seven. Basically, we want a five, a seven, an eight, or a one. So I say aiming for seven might be a good call because if we fail, we get the eight. Let's go for that. Plus, we get an item by going through this item barrier here. So, okay. Let's try for seven. Because events, if I remember correctly, can sometimes be, be bad for you. Uh, not necessarily guaranteed to be good for you. Okay. Hurry so we're going for seven. Me. Fucked it. Completely fucked Go it. Forward one square. But at least it wasn't a bad one. Get smaller. I'm not sure what that does. <laughs> it's been a while. Please be gentle with me. me. <laughs> Some of these voice sounds for Gregory are really funny. He's going to land on a bomb. Oh, that's very nice of the game. Oh, no! <laughs> He's so stupid. Um, that works for me. Uh, okay. Right, he's hurt. Right, so we we scroll the one. One, two, three, four, six, seven. Okay, so do you know what? I'm gonna press it on the four, and I've been going about two or three early, so hopefully that will mean I'll land on the seven or the eight. Um Hurry up and spin me! Oh, because I'm shrunk. Here's a present because I'm shrunk, you. it halved my amount. Huh? Wonderful. Uh, nothing That's happened. what that does. Yes, so I've got a counter above my head. That will grow over time and eventually fall on me, making me miss a turn. <laughs> he used his herb because he got hurt. You can see how this would be a literal fucking nightmare in terms of RNG. 
He rolled a one. He gets a counter. Watch yourself now. Looks like it doesn't do anything. Oh, is there any? Can we only have one counter active at a time? I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight and seven are bad. I want a six. Hurry up and spin me! Let's really try to do this properly this time. Fuck's sake. Go forward seven squares. Here's a present for ya. Get an item. W up. I can't even remember ya. what that does. Oh, Count's getting bigger. Terrible oh my god, it swapped to him. Yes! It is going to drop on one of us, and soon. Hurry up and spin me! In fact, he'll probably get a counter <sighs> right now. So it comes right back to me. Because the game likes to cheat, just like Mario Party. Just like you remember. Go forward three squares! Here's a present for ya! He didn't. But he is safe, and he's got an item. Break. What does break do? Oh, he might safe. be able to break one of my oh. items. And safe. I think. Right, first off, we're going to use an item. We're going to use one of our red, uh, green herbs. Um, what else are we going to do? Alright, I can't... I can only use one item a turn. Fine. W up lets you advance twice the number of squares shown on the wheel for a single turn. So it doubles up the roulette wheel. Okay, what do we need to roll? One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, four or five, six, seven, eight. We want a five. It would be nice to land on one green square this entire fucking game. Hurry up and so spin let's me. go five. Fuck's sake. Go forward six squares. I'm just not very good at good at this. Here's a present for ya! Oh look! Oh! And the lucky number is... That was lucky. I thought it would, it would send it over to me again. I don't know how it works. Who knows? No one spends more time here than they want to. Or need to, need to basically. Hurry up and spin um, me! Oh fuck, no, I didn't mean to do that. We're gonna use a W up. Yes. So, let's view the map. Bearing in mind we now have a maximum step of 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We want to avoid 8 at all costs. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Well, I don't want 16. And I don't want 8. So, I want to avoid a 4 or an 8. Um, 16, 15, 14. So, I could hit a 7. Um, 13, 12... Don't want to hit a 6. 12, 11, 10. Safe is 10 on 5. Let's try for 5. Or 7. Hurry up and spin me! This is so stressful. I tend to fuck it up a bit, don't I? Like, the next number over or the one after is the one that I want. Usually one or two. So if I really try to get it on the 5... Maybe it will spin to the seven. That's my my thought process. <laughs> as much as I have a thought process. Fuck's sake. Right, I didn't check square eight at all. Oh my god, eight's return. Here's a present for ya. What 
do you think return means? Hurry up and spin me! I fucking hate huh. this part of the game. It's abysmally bad. Go forward two squares. Here's a present for ya. Looks like I have to land on the counter to swap the thing back over to him. It's like a hot potato, basically. Um, I guess we're using R W White. Right. Do you know what? I'm not even gonna look. I'm just gonna hope for the best and go for 16. Hurry up and spin me! Go forward two squares! Oh my god. Well, at least he gets his thing back. Ugh, what a terrible bother. Fucking hell. I mean, at least the music's good. Fucking cheat. Go forward eight squares. Here's a present for ya. Look at him, the fucking goofball. Here's a present for ya. Watch you yourself motherfucker. Now. Gregory, you complete piece of shit. Oh my god. Seven is safe. No. Here's a present Four. for you. I was I was ahead two squares, so it might be alright. Oh, we switched. Uh, what a terrible bother. Nice, and it's gonna fall on him. He's gonna lose a turn. Um, welcome back, Bounty. You might be asking what the fuck you're looking at. Um, I would be too. This is Roulette Boys. Uh, the way to get Roulette Boys sold is to play Hurry Hell's Roulette. It is huh. RNG Hell. Go forward ten squares. Gregory is a fucking cheat, a by the way. For ya. Really? <laughs> that sounds like a nightmare. He is such a cheat. Safe. Fucking bullshit. And safe. And the lucky number is... Right, it's still not much comfort because he's so far ahead. What does... Right, we're going to do that for... No, we're going to do that after our next turn. Um... Hurry up and spin me! Okay, I'm quite consistently getting seven sevens squares. here. Here's a present for ya! Dante just slices dice. To be honest, that sounds better at this point Here's than this fucking shit. Ya. I get to choose what to keep. Ooh. Um, break breaks one of his items. Steel steals one of his items. So I guess I will steal, because steal's better than breaking. Safe. And safe. And safe. He misses a turn. Now 
he has a steel card. So I feel like stealing his steel card. Um, just so he can't steal my Chinese tea. But he's going to roll a big number anyway, so I've got to use the W down card. I have no choice. Please don't do this. My hope is if he uses his steel card to steal my medicine, I can steal it back with the steel card. That's the uh, the logic there. Um, okay, let's let's try and plan this out with the map. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is safe. I can't roll enough to get the return. Okay, so that's good. We want the eight. Now, I've been hitting seven quite consistently by tapping on six. So I'm gonna try tapping on seven. Early on seven. Hurry up and spin me! Fucking bullshit! Well, he can have that. That's fine, maybe it'll squash him again. I've got a feeling he's gonna get to the end. <laughs> I knew he'd steal it. Oh wait, no, he had to. Fuck's sake. Now this is gonna be hard. That means he's still only got five to the end. Oh no! <laughs> so we are going to. What has he got? We're going to steal. We're going to steal his deal card so he can't this. steal my Chinese medicine or green tea or whatever it is. Okay. Uh, let's look at the map. Oh no, now I can roll an eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can roll an eight and return again. For real. This is such bullshit. Um, okay. We'll try and get in sevens again. He could roll a six to an eight now. Hurry up and spin me! And I bet the game will make him roll as well. Next turn he wins. So there's no point even in using my my W item, uh, my W down. I can't make I can't make that distance in that amount of time. I should just reset like my game. Let's try anyway. Maybe I'll get an event. That would be cool. Maybe there's a swap places event. That would be amazing. Out there, is there? Come on. Here's a present for ya. I'm on the event square. It's our only shot. <laughs> oh. And yeah, lucky number is. Oh my god, this might be it. This might be it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or eight. I need to roll a seven or an eight. Roll? I need to, to hit seven or eight on the roulette. Um. Come on, please, please. I've never asked you for this before game. 
apart from the hundreds of other times I've played Hell's Relight. Please just give this to Hurry me. Up and spin me. <gasps> Go forward eight squares. That is called fucking luck. <laughs> God for that. Oh, Hell's Roulette is painful. Can you imagine good trying to speedrun this section? How the fuck am I going to do job. that? I'm probably going to get really good at stopping it where I need it to stop. I suppose you win here. I'll leave you my salt. Okay, so that's Roulette Boy's salt. We need to get Hell's Chef's salt and we need to get TV Fisher's salt. <laughs> See you later. We're getting the hell out of there. Um, where are we? We're close to the shortcut to the house, so we will use that shortcut. Providing the coast is clear. And we will go and save, because there is no way in hell I'm doing Hell's Roulette again. So who's about... The coast looks clear. Roulette boy is already somehow in in that corridor. But it's okay because we should hopefully he's he's hopefully going the other way. Whoa no! And we're getting the hell out of there. Who saw me? Cactus girl. There's also mummy, mummy papa and mummy. Well, mummy papa's in the clinic. Mummy dog is in the corridor as well. Are they coming down here? No, I think I might be safe down here. Right. Um, I could make a break for the save room on the second floor. I mean, it's a shit place to save, but it would be a save. Um, let's go back up. Where is Cactus Girl going? She's already gone. Where is she? She's gone upstairs, hasn't she? She's upstairs. What am I worried about? Now, because Hell Chef is not in the kitchen, what we're going to do is we are going to go and put some stuff into the stew. Red herbs are too useful, so we're going to go and find some other shit uh, that we can just dump in the stew. In fact, is there anyone in the bar? Cactus Gunman's in the bar. Hello! Lost in the warp pipe is raining with a party of seven. Hang on one second. Welcome, everybody. We're playing a game called Gregory Horror Show. It's really hard. <laughs> uh, but I've been playing the whole game from start to finish. Welcome, everybody. Um, this is an old school survival horror Capcom game. Hello. Welcome to the stream. Um, we've got a clear line to the save point, so we are saving the heck out of the save point. Um, I'm all out of hot Monster Munch, I'm afraid. The, like, I haven't had Monster Munch in years. Fucking hell. But, like, it's the best Monster Munch. Clearly the best Monster Munch. Um, we're gonna save, because we're carrying a soul right now. We just stole a soul from Roulette Boy. And we need to save. Like, we need to save. <laughs> we need to save. Um... But yes, I've been playing this whole game. This is one of my favourite games in the world. And we should hopefully finish it before midnight. Um, it's not like we're speedrunning. In fact, I would like to speedrun this game. But uh, anyone who was just watching saw Roulette Boys section. It's so RNG heavy. Like, I have no idea how I'm going to manage it. Um, maybe there are some items in the library. 
we need to find some stuff to put into. Yeah, I've only got two hours left. I'm well aware. I'm well aware, Bounty. I'm like, can I make it? I think technically I can. Oh, I guess I'll take the book. But I need um, I need items. Uh, to get Hell Chef's soul, we need to put everything we can find into his stew and make his stew like the most revolting thing possible. Once we do that, well, he'll get very angry with us. You can see here, Catherine is, is very much infatuated with Hell Chef. I mean, Hell Chef is quite a funny character already, but if you then imagine that he is like Gordon Ramsay in the afterlife, he takes on a whole new level of, of amazingness. Um, am I tired yet? No, I'm not tired. Let's drop off a book. No. Here we go. Drop off the book. What do we have on the item shelf? We have a speed up and eye drops. So we don't need the speed up yet. Yeah, fucking raw. It's um, it's fucking raw, right? Um, can we read a book? Hopefully, this isn't gonna make me tired. Me and my dolly. Good, we're not tired. Okay. Right. We need to find some items. Is there someone still in the bar upstairs? Yes, Cactus Gun. Fuck's sake, Cactus. We need to find stuff to put in this stew. While Hell Chef is not at his post. And we need a lot of stuff. Like, lots of items. If I have to use these red herbs, I will. But I really don't want to. Um, let's go into the dining room. There's bound to be some stuff in here. There usually is. Nope. Denied. Let's take a little peek on Hell's Chef. Oh, he's talking about TV fish again. Let's go get TV fish while we're waiting, okay? So, we bought the batteries. We can use these in the dead remote to make the remote control have life. Now, the remote control can shoot. Can shoot? There we go. We can zap things. Now, TV fish is very hard to find. He's usually in the basement, hanging out, doing stuff in the basement. Um, Cactus Gunman is in the bar. We're going to have to get Cactus Gunman out of the bar. So what we're going to do... Oh my god, that's Catherine. Did you see the syringe? I saw the syringe. Um, Lost Doll is in the corridor. Cactus Gunman is out of the bar. He's going to come this way, isn't he? Of course he is. Of course he is. We'll just hide in the save room. It's okay. In fact, let's drop a save. <laughs> yeah, medical personnel coming through with a giant syringe. Time for a blood test. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to wait in the save room. I know it's a... Oh, he's gone back into the bar. Sometimes these characters come out and you're like, why did they come out of the room they were in? And there's no real good reason. Um... What I was about to say is TV Fish is all over the place. It's very hard to get him, like, to pinpoint him. So what we can do is in the bar, there's a guaranteed way to make TV Fish appear. <laughs> so what we will do is we will do the same old trick on Cactus Gunman again to make him freak out and run back to his room. Scare me like that. Just so that he vacates the bar so that we can get in there and do what we need to do. Oh, 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 who's that? He's, he's paranoid, but he's he's got a bit of a reason. People keep knocking on doors and then disappearing. Don't scare me like that. Hopefully he should fuck off now. 
Yeah, this is this is the old door prank. Everyone knows this. Like back in my like parents' youth, it used to be called um, knock down ginger or something like that. You would just knock on the doors and somebody's out to get me. Ordinary normal people who didn't deserve it. Um, yeah, great. Who are you? Go back to your room, cactus. There he goes. Right. We're going to grab whatever is in the bar. And we're going to grab TV Fish's soul. TV Fish is also someone who will not give you a horror show. Much like, um... Uh, much like Judgment Boy. Actus ain't much of a pistolero. No, he is not. He's a bit of a wuss. So, if you knock on this... TV fish should appear. We got them, but Cactus Gunman is in the doorway. Oh my god. Senorita, I think I'm in love. Will you be my special lady? Fine senorita like you would much rather have some flowers, no? I'll be waiting for you! Adios, senorita! So that is a horror show. I was trying to make it through the game without showing you any horror shows, and then I was going to show you them all at the end. But now you will notice that not only has the soul that TV Fish just dropped disappeared, but also... The solo is holding on to is gone as well. We're not having that. No fucking way. This is what safety saves are for. So what we're going to do is we are going to not do the old knock-knock trick to get him out of the room because it's clearly not enough time. We're going to wait until he's not in the bar. For a horror show, it was awkward. <laughs> well, if you're playing as the girl... He, like, has an interest in you, and he'll sh throw you roses. If you're a boy, he won't do that. He has a different horror show for you. I think he's the only person who has a horror show based on what, uh, whether you're a boy or a girl. What we're going to do is we're going to leave him in the bar for a while. We're going to go and grab the stuff that we need to put into Hell Chef Soup to piss Hell Chef off. That's what we're going to do. a whole load of junk. Anything that we can find, basically. And we'll hope that in the meantime that, uh, that Cactus Gunman just, uh, his schedule changes. No, none of this stuff seems to respawn. There is enough in the game that does respawn, but um, it's knowing which ones those are. So this is this floor. Gregory's in the library. Um, Hell Chef is in the kitchen. We'll go back to the jacuzzi, because no one's in the jacuzzi, right? Yeah, we're fine. We'll go into the jacuzzi and pick up some of the items in there. Where are we at? Half past ten. It's alright, it's alright, we can do this, we can do this. There isn't, it looks like there's nothing in here, I picked it up already. It's hard to know when stuff respawns. Honestly, it's hard to know. Um, I shouldn't have burned through so many of those herbs in the basement. Um, I guess we'll check out some of these other rooms. We've not been in these yet, so hopefully there should be uh, items. Oh, you forgot to ask yesterday. What's that bounty? Oh, that's Judgment Factory. Which Dead Rising is your favourite? Oh, it's easily the first one. Easily. 
I think they get progressively worse as time goes on. I know I was ragging on Dead Rising yesterday for the AI. It does have its moments of being really, really unfair. But like in terms of tone and delivery, I think the first one is like just unbeatable. The first one had the right mix of seriousness mixed with uh, like tongue-in-cheek humor. The rest of them turned everything up like too far on the parody notch for me, personally. No, I don't like crafting weapons. Um, I've never liked crafting weapons in any game ever. That just does not appeal to me. I, I don't like weapons that break. I don't like weapons that like... It's just not for me. I, I'm, I'm not dissing it for other people. Like, if you want... Like, I can understand if people like 2 best. I can understand if people like 3 best. Um, if you like 4 best, there's something wrong with you. I think 4 is just stupid. Not the good kind of stupid, either. Um, are the eye drops back? Nope. I guess we're gonna go look for some items. There was a room in the basement that had a load of, uh... It looked like a grow room, if you remember. It's alright, Roulette Boy is knocking around here. But he hasn't seen me. Where are you? For sure, it definitely does have better AI, it definitely has some um, better gameplay overall. I, I agree with you completely. Here we go. This is what we need. to heal, actually. Where is uh, Roulette Boy? He's in the next room. Go back around this side. Hopefully he will come in. Yeah, I think the... When people ask me which one is my favourite, like in any game series ever, I'm probably going to look past controls because story to me is one of the most important things. So for me, the most affecting story will probably win even if there are subsequent games that have maybe improved controls. For instance, Sun or 2, Sun or 3, Sun or 4. 3 and 4 made some improvements in terms of gameplay. But 2 is my favourite because of the story, because of the themes, the characters. I guess that, for me, that carries more weight than, than the gameplay. Although gameplay is important, don't get me wrong. Um, okay. Roulette Boy is making his way across the courtyard. We'll just wait for him a bit. He's almost in the kitchen. He's in the kitchen. We need him to leave the kitchen. Oh, is Hell Chef coming back? Hell Chef is coming back to the kitchen. Fuck my life. No? Are you just pacing the dining room? What is going on, Hell Chef? Here he is. I guess we have to wait for him to be done in the kitchen. Hey. 
I guess we could check the bar. The bar is free. Also, will Hell Chef run away from me? No smoking! He runs away. Okay, good. So, let's put stuff in here. such a good idea. You can just put anything in, I think. Soup's getting pretty disgusting looking. Cures melancholy, okay. Let's use the green herb. I think that's enough. Nope. Laughing shrooms in. Oh, my God. What am I going to do if the chef starts chasing me? Here it goes. This is getting scary. I put red herb in. All right, that's enough. No more messing around. The pot is so full of soup, it's overflowing. So what we've done is we used up all our items, but we have... Who's been messing with my pot? This is your doing, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe. Cooking, will you? I'll get you for this. I'll make you into a stew. Fucking raw. So Hell's Chef, he will be patrolling, patrolling the um, corridor around here, the, the, the kind of the square corridor shape of the hotel. He's going to be uh, running around there in a counterclockwise direct direction, um, and he will chase you. Now, what you find out by looking around and listening to people is that if the candle on top of Hell's Chef's head goes out, he will go unconscious. He'll just, like, cease to be. Okay? And that there is a really windy room in the hotel. It's the storeroom. Um, if you go to the storeroom, uh, it's windy in there, and it will blow out Hell Chef's camp. That's what you find out. So, we are going to go to the front of the storeroom and wait for Hell Chef. He will come down the corridor, see us. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. He will see us and follow us into the storeroom, is the hope. Where is he? Yes, he's just coming to the bottom of that corridor. It's all going to line up perfectly. Here he comes. He will chase us into the storeroom. You can see the draft coming through. Lights out for Hell Chef. presume this is your doing, yes? Chef Maybe. stops moving when the fire on his head goes out. And when that happens, it's up to me to light the fire again. Oh, what a pain in the... In the future, would you, in the future, be, so kind as would you be so kind as to refrain teasing from chef? teasing Chef? <laughs> it's so good. Come along, Come on. Chef. We're going. Go on, chef. I hate drafts. I hate storerooms. And we got a soul. All we need now is TV Fish's soul. 
and we should be good. We can we can go visit Death. Let's uh, pick up some of this stuff as well. This is where you can find the dirty book. You can see that Gregory's got a bit of a... Oh my god. That's very risque. Gregory's got a bit of a thing going on back here. In the storeroom. Expired cheese would have been perfect for the stew. Okay, looks like we're safe. We are going to make a safety save. And then we're going to check the upstairs, uh, the bar. Safe. knocking about upstairs. Gregory, the bar is clear. Because look, I've got some kind of state settlement. What is it? I've got tiredness. I need to go to bed. So, let's get our TV remote ready. Grab this first. Is there something back here as well? I can't remember. Yes. That's a shortcut downstairs. Nice. I'd forgotten that. Um, we might actually end up using that. I'm not sure if it's that much faster actually for us at the moment, but it's good to know for next time. I look tired. I look really tired. Right, so TV Fish won't bother us. We don't have to worry about a horror show from TV Fish. I'm, I'm not sure why certain characters just don't. Maybe they thought that like having like 12 people after you at once is just a bit too much. So some guests don't uh, behave that way. Um, the first floor is fairly clear. So we're just going to go downstairs. Head straight to our room. What items do we have, actually? Um, we are going to trade some of our items uh, for speed ups. We already have one speed up. Welcome to. I will explain in a minute why we need speed ups. But we need two of them. Uh, we need three actually, but we've got one, so we just need two more. Um, orange juice. The, the juice and the herb will, will get one, and the expired cheese will get the other one, because I can't get change, so I've got to trade a three star for a two star. Uh, it's not fair, Gregory. You got me over a barrel. There's not much I can do about it. Um, and we're going to get another one. We need three. Uh, so, I guess... I'm not sure which is better, orange juice or 100% juice. Let's just go orange juice and yellow herb. There we go. Wait, no, is it... It's, it's a two-star item, right? I'm being a doofus. We want to speed up. We just need to get rid of this one and this one. There we go. So, yes. Who's in the corridor? No one? Got a straight shot. I love how it says guest room. We're all guests. But <laughs> there are um, 
I guess it's an easy way for you as a player to know where your bedroom is. Um, would reading help? I'm not sure, it's probably just going to make me more tired, but death is going to fix all my uh, tiredness issues. So that should be okay. I'm going to read again, uh, because death is going to make everything okay. And we really need good health bar. Alright, we're going to sleep, we're going to sleep. Come on now! Give it up! Okay. Throw away all that. So this worries. is going to be the fourth night. Now the fourth night is the the last oh, the last set you. of new guests. Did you manage to pick up any souls? So time wise, we're not doing too badly. We should be okay. Whoa! You brought three of them for me. Hey, I did. of course I'll take Don't ask me how hard it was. It was hard. Roulette Boy almost went tits up. Uh, it did go tits up with Cactus Gunman and TV Fish. Hey, so we had to reload. Here, I'll stamp your card for you. Hey, God knows you how don't they do look it so speed run. It's going to be hey, real interesting. Fix you right up. Well, there we go. You look at that. A whole bunch of new guests. Good luck there, buddy! I'll skip that because we've seen that a few times now. did you do with my souls? Uh, 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 please forgive me, Mama. The truth is... You did what? You let the guests get a hold of my souls? Uh, uh, please forgive me. I was only away for a minute. Enough of your excuses. Stop dallying and get them back. Yeah, yeah, you screeching old banshee. What was that? Uh, nothing, Mama. I'll get those souls back right away. <laughs> Look at them, Gregory, my beautiful souls. The secret of my beauty. Mm. Gregory, Mama, we have souls. We mustn't let to them get away, mustn't we, Gregory? <laughs> she's um, she's no good. <sighs> It's hard work trying to keep scenes. Mama happy every day. It's the guest's fault that I get yelled at every day. <laughs> but yeah, he would. even so... <laughs> Makes you think maybe there's a Mama way to break will all have herself out, a yeah. new victim soon enough. <laughs> I love that portrait. It's like, <laughs> yes, this captures me the best. <laughs> this thing where I look like a fucking maniac. <laughs> I love Gregory's laughs as well. They're so good. Mm, Gregory Mama is one to be feared. <laughs> this is Clockmaster I'll send and my you son. Back in time. Oh boy! Time is money! I'll save you just this once, okay? Just this once! And that's Angel Dog. Now, even though he's not our son, my son is called my son. Even though he's Clockmaster's son. Clockmaster's son is my son. Does that make sense to you? Okay, I've got a status ailment. 
darkness. Looks like even death can't cure darkness. We've got our third speed up and we've got some eye drops. So we will use the eye drops. There we go. It sounded better inside someone's head than on paper. Hmm, maybe. I mean, I think this this game is pretty like I think it's amazing. I think Gregory Horror Show in in itself as well is just amazing. Because uh, especially if you take the time to watch the uh the animation, you will see that um It deals with a lot of very complex themes for a kid's show. Like ideas of death, reincarnation, uh, spirituality, like all of these big concepts, but it works. <laughs> you know the boy that fixes the clock? Well, I heard that screwdriver the boy carries around. <laughs> was a present from his papa. It was. If that screwdriver were ever stolen, his papa would lose his temper and use some kind of strange technique. <laughs> ah. Not only that, but when his papa uses that technique, he breaks down and can't move, the poor dear. <laughs> Isn't that sweet? That father must love his son so much. Hmm, are you sure you even know what a father's love is like? So, we're gonna do a safety save. Catherine's asleep. Same. So, we have two more souls to get. Uh, Clockmaster's soul. Or I guess it's my son's soul. Uh, you know, it's like mummy papa, mummy dog. You can... They both share the soul. Um... And we have Angel Dog. So, as you just saw, the way to get Clockmaster's soul is to steal my son's screwdriver. Because it was a present from his papa to his son. And um, it's important. So when he finds us with it, he's going to get very upset and he's going to use his strange technique. Oh, someone's opening the door. I think we're alright. Someone's in the storeroom. Not good. There's my son. Time stopping technique. It breaks down. I hope he's okay. If that happens, I'll be in big trouble. Yes, because no one will be around to protect you, my son. Hi, who are you? So your name is Gallops, huh? My name is my son. Nice to meet you. My daddy is teaching me how to find time warps. It says on his forehead, by the way, it says time is money. Great! Sweet! My daddy, his name is Clockmaster. He's the great and powerful master of time. You sound like Reverend. <laughs> what? Oh, you mean like the spirituality thing? I just think it's cool that someone made like a, a horror cartoon <laughs> that deals with these weird themes, but at the same time is also zany, stupid, and colourful. And it would have to be Japanese people who did that. Right. We got my son's screwdriver. We stole it. Now we need to find Clockmaster, who is in the bar. Is the coast clear? Yes, providing they stay in their rooms. It's just gone past the hour, so usually if someone's going to move around, they will do it on the hour. Sometimes they will do it half past an hour. But there's really no way of knowing unless you've got their complete schedules mapped out. So, is he still in the bar? Yes. 
what we need to do, okay, because what will happen when we, when he sees that we've got my son screwdriver, he will chase us and he will use his special technique that freezes time, which makes him super fast. Um, that's why we have three speed ups. He has to use that technique three times before he conks out and falls over unconscious. Every time he does his technique, we're going to use a speed up so that we can run faster so that he won't catch us. But in running from him, we need to kind of like lead him around the hotel. Now, they said, like, people are sending guides and stuff, take him down into the basement because there are less people in the basement. But so long as my. As long as Cactus Girl and Lost Doll stay in their rooms, I actually find that the first floor is quite a good place to run him around. So we're going to try on the first floor. There is a save point right up here. So we're going to save. We're going to go to the bar. Piss off Clockmaster. And go for it. And if something goes wrong, then we will just load our save. And it's coming up to eleven. We we should we should finish the game, providing nothing goes seriously wrong. We should we should do fine on this. We'll finish the game by midnight, and we should hopefully have time to watch all the horror shows as well. If that runs over midnight a little bit, I don't mind. Okay. Psych myself up. Get ready to use my speed ups. In fact, I'm going to use my green herb now. <sighs> You don't have to worry about losing him, he will follow you, no matter where you go. Maybe your room is safe, I'm not sure. But uh, we'll find out. Well, we won't find out, we're not going to our room. But maybe I'll put the time in and investigate another time. Here we are. You stop right there! Isn't that my son's screwdriver? Isn't that my son's screwdriver? What? Do you mean your son or my son? Return it to my son at once! Here we go. Here's the strange technique. Stop there, criminal scum! <laughs> right, he's following. He's in hot pursuit, as we would say. Time is. This is him using his technique. So that's when we want to use our speed up. Make sure you don't mess up by going like in an alcove that you shouldn't be. How is this corridor looking? Because by the way, oh my god, lost dolls in the corridor. We need to go downstairs. Um Who's downstairs? So we can go downstairs and run him along the top corridor back to the stairs. That will work. But we can't go through Lost Doll. He used time as money. I didn't use it. I didn't use it. Oh, I can't use it yet. Okay. Once I appear to slow down. Time is money! Oh, here he goes. We only needed one speed up. Wow, I misjudged that. Okay, he's just past the jacuzzi door. This way. He's now knocked out. While he's knocked out, we can go to my son and get the soul. No, come here. Come here. What the hell happened? 
Oh my god. What is this clusterfuck? Okay, so what I think happened is Clockmaster stays down on the floor um, until you've talked to my son. But because I went through the door and came back out, um, something's happened and now he's back up again. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to load up game. Also, like, there's a whole clusterfuck of people down there. There's um, Mummy... Up, uh, mummy dog and lost doll as well <laughs> we're not having that so we'll give it another go <laughs> i love that hot pursuit saying yeah me too they're in hot pursuit stop that criminal scum though is right it's like hey isn't that my son screwdriver oh oh you you asshole <laughs> Look, he even knows. Oh no, I've got to have it out. Where is it? There it is. Yo, mister. What can I do, girl? You, stop right there! Isn't that my son, screwdriver? No. What? Return it to my yeah, son did. at once! <laughs> you little ruffian! Time is money! So what we might try and do is instead of go across the top floor, we might just try and go downstairs at the stairs in the corner, I think. That's what we're going to try and do. Because we know that that corridor is clear. Right, here it comes. Time is money. Time is money! Down we go. Time is... Where's Catherine? Oh my god, Catherine's out of her room. It's all right, we're fast though. Return it to my son at once. Time now is gonna fall over. money! Now we need to get my son before he leaves this room. Catherine is right behind me. If Catherine follows me in here, I'm fucked. So you took it, huh? Give it back! Daddy, that kid took my screwdriver! Go teach the brat a lesson! Oh, I don't hear Clockmaster around here, my son. My son, I think you're on your own. <laughs> Stealing from children! Forgive God, me, love it. my son! I, I can't go on! We bested your father, Guess child. I managed to stop time. My screw came loose, and now I can't move. Daddy! Daddy, <laughs> what's wrong? Speedy just blew by me. Uh, She's t-shirt with power to you for on a minute? That screwdriver is a present from my daddy. It's well, really, really still important. In suit if she, I don't know if people if follow him into the store it, or not. I won't I be able to fix does. the clocks, and then I'll be in big trouble. Please, pretty please, give it back. I'll give you the soul in return. Just don't tell my daddy. Trading a screwdriver for a soul seems perfectly fine to me. Okay, then. I'll just take the screwdriver. You do that. Now, let's really hope Catherine isn't following us, but because that music is going, I think she might be. Which means we may still have to load. Where's the soul? Oh, I picked up, I picked up the, the screwdriver again, by the way. Yeah, I've got an hour left. It's okay, it's okay. We've only got one more soul to get, which is angel dogs. We've got plenty of time. What is it? What is it? 
Oh my god, now he's coming after me. He gave you the soul. Now he's coming after me. Oh no, 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 no. No, 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 no. This is not good. No, 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 no. We're gonna use the speed up and we're gonna get the hell out of here. Oh, we still can't use the speed up yet. Can I use the speed up now? It makes you run fast for 30 minutes. Oh, okay. We, we should be golden all the way to us. Our room then. Well, she refuses to get involved. Where did Garlips go? Oof. You can see now I've seen enough dialogue to, to get a second figure on the table. That's pretty cool. Um, okay. So you can see all these people in the corridor <laughs> who were chasing me. My son, Mummy Papa, and Mummy Dog were all, were all fast behind. Um, I guess we just have to wait for them to clear out, and then we can go and save. We're safe in our room. Yeah, that someone's gone upstairs. I could just see them disappear. Um, looks like we're clear. Wait, which which direction is Hell Chef moving? No, Hell Chef's coming this way. See what I mean? The map is invaluable. Like, it, you say invaluable when it's something that you cannot put money on, right? Because it always sounds like you're saying that it's not valuable at all, but I don't think that's what it means. I need to check. Right, Hell Chef is uh, is right outside. <laughs> Fuck off, Hell Chef. Go somewhere, please. Thank you. Go somewhere. I think actually watching him is making him say stuff where he wouldn't, usually. Gregory's out there as well. Could you, could you, like, could you stop having a party in the corridor, please? I would appreciate it greatly. Oh my god, my health is not good. Hell Chef is just standing there, by the way. What's this? What are you doing, Hell Chef? You're a cheater, Hell Chef. You're cheating. I think he's leaving. He's leaving. Look like Angel Dog was in here. Oh no, she's in the garden. That's where she is. Yeah. Let's save. We only have one soul save. left to get, and it's Angel Dogs. Now, Angel Dog, um, by watching what she does and talk, like spying on her, listening to other people, etc., you find out that she really, really, really loves a TV show that she watches every day at 6 p.m. sharp. But the problem is, whenever she wants to watch it in the TV room, Gregory chooses that time to clean, and he just disrupts the program for her, and she has a horrible time. So, even if you find out that she is going to watch this program at 6 p.m., and you follow her there, and you wait for her, and you wait to see what happens, she will just get disrupted by Gregory. So what you actually have to do is you have to go and bother Gregory about 45, uh, about 15 minutes before 6 o'clock and give him back his dirty book so that he goes and runs off to do his dirty book stuff. And in doing so, you uh, make it so that Angel Dog can enjoy her TV show. But the problem we have is that it's the middle of the night right now. I don't think it's the right 
kind of six o'clock. I think it's the wrong kind of six o'clock. Um, if that makes sense. What we need to do is there is an item that can make time fast forward. It's called like time fruit or something. Welcome to Fruit of Time. Two two stars. Um, what do we got? There's two stars. Well, we've got speed up. In fact, we'll trade both of our speed ups for fruit of time. No, actually, we'll keep one speed up, just in case we need to move fast if someone's chasing us. Um, yeah. We'll take one fruit of time. Let me let me check how much time passes when you use a fruit of time. Two hours. That's not a lot of time, actually, at all. This is the wrong type of 6 p.m. So sleeping will make time pass, and so will eating fruit of time. What I think we're going to do is we're going to read some books, we're going to go to sleep, we're going to use some fruit of time, and we're going to get ourselves up to about 4 p.m., and then we're going to save, and then we're going to go and bother Gregory, give him the book and then we can get Angel Dog's soul. So, let's read a book. Guide to Poison. I read all my books. I've read all my books, okay. Fair enough. Um, I don't... Am I carrying any? No. We're gonna get some sleep then. Come on now! Death will ask us Give we'll it up! Solo, Throw away all it. them worries! Oh! Yeah, it's me. I've got a soul. So, you're old? Shall I take it? Let's not give it to him by accident. Good luck there, buddy! Thank you, buddy. Right, that advanced time. We are at... What is the time? Oh my god, we're getting up to 5pm. So we don't actually need the time fruit. Catherine's in the corridor. Which way is she, is she going to her room? Please go to her room. Please, please, please go to her room. Come on, Catherine. Come on, Catherine. Right, she's coming down the corridor. Fine, I don't care. Just get out of the way. Right, she's gone into the guest room. That isn't her room. That's a bit weird. Never mind. We're going to save. I'm pretty sure saving doesn't advance time. But just in case it does, save. I'm going to save in a separate slot. There we go. It has an advanced time. Excellent. So, we need to find Gregory. Um, you can see the angel dog is in the room, so she's ready for her program to start on the television. She gets there an hour early. Wow, <laughs> she really wants to see this TV show. Um, who's... Oh my god, there's so many people in the corridor. Where is everyone going? Where are you going? You're all just hanging out. I don't like it. I don't like it. Um, okay. I will tell you what. You remember down by the TV room 
by the infirmary, there's those little stairs just there. That is the shortcut from the basement. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down to the basement. We're going to use that shortcut to come up inside the house. Oh my god. It's roulette boy. Get in the door, get in the door, get in the door, get in the door. No, no, no. Go away, go away, go away, go away. Fuck, that was close. Why didn't he follow me down here? Very, very, very close. Didn't like that. Not cool. Oh my god, it's half past already. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I don't think I have time to get to the shortcut. I've got the erotic book ready. It's gonna be real tight. Where is he? Real tight. Right, we're waiting for Gregory. Hell Chef is in there. So I can't go in. I guess I could wait here until Gregory comes. But the problem is, at 6 o'clock, everybody's going to start doing something different. Because their schedule is going to kick in. Mummy Papa's coming this way. Let's hope he goes into the clinic. I really hope he goes into the clinic. I don't hear a door. He's coming this way. Son of a bitch. Right. Where's Gregory? Right, six o'clock, everything is changing. What are you doing, Mummy Papa? What are you doing in the corridor? Fucking shit. Hell Chef is leaving. Greg, uh, Mummy Papa is going the other way. I see you, Gregory. Uh, how nice to see you. And what can I and do for you? You've seen this huh? before, what happens when he sees the uh, dirty book. Oh, oh, where did you find that book? Oh, no. This is. Just to prove it, we'll hand it over this It time. would be wise not to make too much of a fuss. No matter what, he's taking it. Right, go. Now go, then. Gregory. Go spend some time with your book. As soon as he fucks off, we can spy on Angel Doc. This should be her show. He doesn't seem to be coming. Oh my god, here comes Catherine. Here comes Catherine. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. With a job like that, I can't blame him. Yeah. Right, she's gone into her clinic. For possession of such material. Well, he has a very overbearing mother as well. To be fair to him. I've forgotten it's football she likes to watch. She likes soccer. In you go. 
Yoink. Let's just check the corridor. I can't tell if Catherine's in her room or out of her room. I think she's in it. Mummy Popper is in the corridor by my room. The other way. So it just depends which, which way he's going around the corridor. Hey, the emotes came through. All right. I've been waiting for those emotes to clear for this stream and they didn't at the start and I was bummed out. If you are a subscriber, you now have access to not only the garlic bones, but you have uh, a tier one subscriber. You also have access to um, Swedish death. Um, you also, maybe the other one has come through, hang on. So tier two can also use, oh my God, I can't even use, I can't even use death yet because um, although it's been unlocked for the chat, I haven't refreshed chat, so, um, oh well. Anyway, I've also got a brick as well <laughs> for people who um, gift bits. Looks like our coast is clear, by the way. This is going swimmingly well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a save, okay? This is the last point that you can save before finishing the game. And it's certainly the last... Well, you might be able to save after this. But this is the last point you can save, like, for sure. Save. After this, everything changes. This is certainly the last point in the game that you can follow guests around. Um, uh, find their souls, find items, all of that stuff. Find out the schedules, read books. All of that stuff ends now. So, this is the end game. This is the Marvel Avengers TM end game TM. Yes, I would like to get some sleep, please. Come on now, give it up. Throw away all them worries. Do you know what? I've made a complete oh, massive boo boo. There is one more soul I've completely souls? forgotten about. Oh my god! There's still one soul so left. You brought two. But it's okay. There, this is the easiest soul to get. It's in the basement. I just slept, so of course I can't really sleep for long. Um, What have I got with me? Okay. Let's check the coast. Is the coast clear? Oh my god, it is not clear. <laughs> what have you got there, Devin? That's a little frog thing. Interesting. Right, we're going to come out here and hope that everyone else is going the opposite way down the corridor. They're not! Um, okay. Let's use our, um, speed up. We need to get down to the basement, basically. God, look at Hell Chef, he's so fast. He's a fast boy. What are you doing? I don't know, James. Don't ask me. James followed me, but Hell Chef didn't. Go figure. Okay. We need to make it to the, um... Uh, the third floor basement. Um, let's check, because there are people in the basement. Not many, but a few knocking around down here. Hopefully there's a new eye drops as well. Yes. That worked out nicely. What am I doing? I don't even need to go this way. I can go down the hatch. I open the shortcuts for a reason. Let's use them. So this is the third floor basement. 
and we will be facing against Judgment Boy Gold. Yes, Judgment Boy Gold is down here somewhere. Where is he? Did I really turn this? Yeah, I did. I don't know how you learn about Judgment Boy Gold, but he's down here. No, he's not. Do you know what? I think I may have made a mess of this. I think you do have to give the souls over to death, and then you find Judgment Boy Gold. Look, just give me one second. We're just going to check real quick, like a professional. Um, Judgment Boy Gold. Yeah, you do have to deliver these souls to death. It's my bad. So what we're going to do is we're just going to load the game because we saved right before we did that, if you remember. This is the one? Yeah. It's alright. It's alright. I'm an expert. I know it's going back to front, remember? You know how it gets in your head, you kind of forget little bits and pieces. You remember the whole, but you don't remember all of the details. So, the answer when death asks you if you want these souls is yes. Take them, please. Come on now. Give it up. Throw away all them worries. So this isn't actually the last time that you can save for doing all that stuff. You can still do that stuff while you go down to see Judgment Boy. Hey, hey, thanks a lot. Good I'm not luck sure why there, Judgment buddy. Boy Gold, Boy Gold exists, or like he doesn't really get an introduction, or well, he does get a, like a little video, but like that's it. And I don't know how you're supposed to work out he's in the basement. Maybe people. Gentlemen, I do. My name, my name. Judgment. Judgment. We need to go and find Judgment Boy Gold. Hey, Exile. Oh, you st you still here from before, or you pop back in? Um, like your playthrough of East Eight. Remember most of it, but a little. Yeah, it kind of like you've got a map in your head of where everything is, but like. You, you remember some of, like, some of the edges get sawn off. No worries, thank you for being here, I appreciate it. Um, we've almost finished the game, actually. We just need to go down to the basement and visit Judgment Boy Gold. Those eye drops should be here, so we should be good for those still. Yep, here they are. And there we go. Yeah. <laughs> down one floor, down the second floor. Yeah. yeah, I remember, yeah. It's, um... But you seem to know that game pretty well, though. That's what I'm saying, like, it's... I know most of it, just... Oh, hello. Right, here Judgment! we go. This is Judgment Boy Gold. He will ask you questions about the guests Your in the hotel. Your amazing skills have gotten you this far. As a prize, I'll give you your final judgment. Now, I should be able to do these from memory. Judgment! Judgment! Now, let's begin the final judgment. No pressure. You're spying on Catherine. Yes, okay. She's on a date with someone at the bar. But who? <laughs> well, we all know who that is. She likes Hell Chef. Alrighty then. Let's ask the scales of truth. Which will it be? Will it Money, be? Or Money or Only love? Only the scales, oh, know, the for scales sure. know for sure. 
Judgment! Here we go. Here we go. Yes. She has a little bit of a crush on Health Chef. You're chasing my son. <laughs> Your son or my He's son? He's gone into the storeroom. What is he doing there? He's fixing clock. All righty then. The oh my god, I answered the wrong question by accident. Through. Which will oh it god. be? Judgment! I was spamming through. Here we go. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Um, okay. Yeah, no, that's my fault. I was spamming X to get through the dialogue, and in doing that, I accidentally picked the wrong answer. Um... Yeah, a little bit. She, she likes him just a little bit. <laughs> I can't remember if these questions are randomized or if you get the same questions every time. Oh my god, how many people are out there? Oh wait, did I save after dropping off the souls? Have I... I saved after dropping off the souls, didn't I? Probably not. That's what's happened. You rushed B when Bomb was at A. That's the tusk. Yeah. Um, it's Silent Hill 4 all over again. As you remember, the answers on Silent Hill 4 are just... Um, it's always going to be on no. Come on now. So you have to press left. Give it up. Throw away all them worries. Gets me every time. Oh. Yeah, we haven't given the souls. That's so why people weren't where they were supposed to be. Hmm. I didn't think I need to save before Judgment Boy. I guess fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck there, Good buddy. Luck there, buddy. Right, I'm not allowed anywhere near the X button. Jump Jump button. Jump. Okay. Skip that. I'm not allowed anywhere near the X button. Do you know my name? Also, we're not saving. Because I refuse to do this part again. It's gonna work first time. Here we go. I mean, I mean second time. Here we go. You're walking around a hotel through the basement. And you need eye drops. Do you use them? Yes. Second. Yes, <laughs> yes, I realized the second I said first time that actually we fucked up the first time. And it's we, okay? It's not just me, you're here too, okay? We're all responsible for this shit show. <laughs> right, where are the where are the 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 garlips.exe has stopped working. Where the fuck is Judgment Boy Gold? I've got a score to settle. I'm not blaming you, I'm just saying Judge it's your fault. It's a completely different thing. Congratulations! Your amazing skills have gotten you this far. Okay. As a prize, Here we go. I'll give you your Quiz final time. judgment. Judgment! 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 Now, let's begin the final judgment. <laughs> You're chasing Angel Dog. They are randomized. Okay. She suddenly starts arguing with someone, but who? 
Gregory. Alrighty then, let's ask the scales of truth. Gregory interrupts her her football soccer show every time. Which will it be, money or love? Only the scales know for sure. Here we Judgment! go. Here we go. Not pressing X. You're spying on Mummy Papa. Okay. He always goes to a certain place at eight in the morning. Oh fuck! Where does Mummy Papa go? Oh right. So where does he go? I've got a list of questions here in case something went awfully wrong. The answer is nurse's room. I could have figured that out myself. Alrighty then. Let's ask the scales of truth. He's always in the in the clinic. Because he thinks something's wrong with him. Which will it be? I don't know why he thinks that, that blade in his head. Only the scales know for sure. Judgment! Here we go. Here we go. We have to answer a total of five questions, I believe. You're spying Ooh. on Catherine. They added the tension music, like in Who Wants to Be Millionaire? Like, we're on the hard question. She's on a date with someone at the bar. But who? Oh, we know this. Alrighty then, let's ask the scales of truth. Which will it be? Will it Money, be? Or Money or love? Only the scales, know, the for scales sure. know for sure. Judgment! Judgment! Here we go! Here we go! See how, like, you play this game a couple of times and suddenly it's burned into your brain. You're spying on Catherine! Oh, again. She's eating a snack and watching TV in the conference room. Right. So, what is she eating? Okay. Now, I wouldn't have got this. I had to check the answers. Alrighty it's then. Donuts. Let's ask the scales of truth. But again, the whole point is that you are spying on people and work this shit out. Which it will up. it be? Money or love? Only the scales know for sure. The first time I played this game properly, I didn't have a guide. I just played it Judgment! without a guide. Here we go! I promise to swear. I'm a real gamer. Question number four. You're hot on the trail of Cactus Gunman, trying to steal his soul. He's okay. watching TV in the conference room. So, what is he watching? Oh, this is easy. We didn't see it in this playthrough, but he always watches westerns, as you could guess. Alrighty then, let's ask the scales of truth! Which will it be, money or love? Only the scales know for sure. Judge your man! Judge your man! Here we go! Oh, he has a different, here we go. It looks like you still got the mental fortitude to face reality and endure the trials ahead of you. As a symbol of your will to overcome the difficult tests that await you, I'll give you a fabulous prize. And that's the truth, see ya. You are no pistolero if you know play or watch westerns. Exactly. You're just you're just a regular old bandito. We have our last soul. We now need to return to our room safely. And that's a bit of an ask. Um, I think the hatch is in here. Here we go. First we check that there's no one in that room, because otherwise we are screwed. It's clear. You should be safe around this corner anyway, but we always check. You get in the habit of checking in this game all the time. Angel Dog, where are you going? Angel Dog, where are you going? 
That's her coming out into the corridor. Oh, she went back into the room. Why did they come out of the room just to go back into it? It's really confusing. Alright, we're going to save here because this is the last save that we can make before the game ends. Save. Um, so what I'm going to do is we will load up this save and we will use this save to watch all the horror shows. So... And we got half an hour. That's I think that's enough time to watch the ending. I'm not sure if it's enough time to watch all of the horror shows, but do you know what? We will just run over a little bit. Because then you've pretty much seen all the game has to offer, apart from, obviously, if you were taking the time yourself to, to spy on people and watch what they talk about. I mean, I do highly recommend this game. It's fun. I mean, it's, it's more fun if you work it out yourself, but I mean... You've been watching, so that might be a bit hard now for you. And I will Come be interested in trying now. to speedrun this game. Give I know up. there are speedrunners who speedrun um, I would like to be one of those people. It's going to be interesting to see what the hell they do with Roulette Boy. Oh, it's you. Yes, we've got the last soul. Yep, I think that's about all of them. You've been a real help, pal. I come here on my own volition. Hey, hey thanks a death lot. Death seems like a pretty here, chill day. Stamp your card for you. I'm not. I'm not so worried about death now because, like, he's a, he's pretty chill. Alrighty then. Like I promised, I'll show you the way back to the real world. world is outside through the front door in the lobby like okay <laughs> that's pretty obvious but before you can get out, that out there, by myself you gotta release all the souls but I got all the souls hey that's not chill that's that's pretty obvious. Oh, yeah, we're breaking in. Tell me, Gregory, is it really true? Is that brat actually collecting souls? Yes, it's true, Mama. The child, the child has already freed all of them. This was all your fault. Can't you remember anything at all? Ma Mama, please stop! I feel bad for, uh, he'll, this I is the last straw. I'm going to like, drink that kid's like soul! Just wait. He's dirty person, but like he's gotta deal with his mother, so. There's a reason why Gregory's the way he is. Alright then, time to go back through the front door to the real world. You'll notice, by the way, that there's no one around. Let's check on Nicker's on me. Garlips, to tell the truth, I really didn't think you would get, ever get this far. I thought you'd be like everyone else who's come so far, you'd get tired of fighting and try to escape. Get lost and end up becoming a permanent guest in the hotel. But you were different. Only you truly had the will to return to reality, and only you worked so hard to achieve your goal. Anybody can make a wish, but how many can actually make it come true? Thank you. I've made a decision of my own. Right then, all you have to do is go out through the door in the lobby. Once you've gone through that door, promise me you'll keep going and never look back. Well, I guess we're going. Off we go. It 
one batch. <laughs> Try it fast. Where do you think you're going? You, you're the one who's been sneaking around collecting my precious souls, aren't you? Not you must have a lot life. of guts to think you can get away with something like that. I'll make you pay for that impudence. <laughs> Bonk. There's a crack in the door. <laughs> but we've been bonked. What are you doing? Hurry and get up. Don't give up on me now. Keep heading for the exit. If you want to get back to reality, you have to get out of here fast. The world you want to get back to is just beyond that door. Yes. Where the fuck are we? Who's there? Must be my imagination. footsteps. We've never seen this part of Gregory House before. Except in cutscenes. Oh my god. You've got a key item. Key of hope. Gregory Mama is always watching. Oh, there is something down there. I thought it was. Oh dear. Right, okay. We don't need a second speed up. I really shouldn't have picked up that book. It was kind of pointless. Um, we don't need the brute time at all. It makes no difference, so we'll just use it. That's how it works. Oh, it fucked up my health. Good to know. Shouldn't have used it. Never mind. Cool. Angel herb. What does an angel herb do? Revive you once you've lost all your MG. Good to know. Is a family portrait. Another hidden item. What does mind up do? Raises your maximum MG for two hours. Watch the timer though. Okay. We'll pop that just before the final boss. Because yes, there is a final boss. We don't have any weapons. But we still need to fight a final boss. Yep, yeah, Capcom game alright. I just love it. It's just, it's so quirky. But endearing. I've got darkness again. It's like not even using those eye drops. Should have waited. Mm. 
sort of. I mean, they outsource a lot of their stuff now. I mean, that's what happened with RE3 remake, re, RE3 remake, which was why some people didn't like it. I liked RE3 remake. I just thought it was a bit short. I mean, I'd, I still rate Capcom quite highly. I think they've been doing a good job of Resident Evil. Can't wait for Resident Evil 8. Da, 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 da. Um, we can go to the house this way. But certainly this was the heyday for Capcom for me, yeah, absolutely. I mean, Resident Evil Outbreak, um, uh, Haunting Ground, uh, what else did they do? Why am I having a complete mind blank right now on, on stuff they did? Yeah, RE4, um, Devil May Cry 3, like, so many good games from around that period of time. Uh-oh. Honey Mooshes? Yeah, absolutely. Well, well. Welcome back, dearie. It was definitely a golden I time. I must admit, you're a lot tougher than you look. But to think you actually believed you could get the best of me. How amusing. Now, to finish you off! Uh-oh. Bravery Mama is gonna fuck you up. Uh, so we're gonna drop this, and we're gonna, I say drop, we're gonna use it, and we're gonna use this too. Um, Gregory Mama will attack you with magical balls of magic, um, but she's overlooked one part of her plan. If we get out of the way just in time, those magical balls of magic will be fired at things that we want broken. Can you think of something we want broken in the entrance hall? I can. She likes to do the teleporting thing. What's happened? My controller just went all weird. Okay. I'm not sure what happened there. Hits the door. That's what we wanted to do. Oof. We have more stuff than we need. Easily. You can do this fight without getting hurt. I'm just being a bit rubbish. Prepare to die! Oh, I kind of misjudged that. I should have waited a little bit longer. Okay, we will have enough stuff if I stop fucking up. Oh my god. My controller keeps messing up when she does that attack. Oh my god. Prepare to die! You never seen her this aggressive. Um, okay. For some reason, my controller is messing up, and I start going off in a direction that I don't mean to. That's weird. Prepare to die! It's alright, we've got a whole, like, revive. Okay. 
We've got the herb. I kind of wanted it to get used in this fight, actually. <laughs> Gotta love the major herbs. Bye-bye. <sighs> Gone already. Where are you going? No, you mustn't! The only way you can fail this section is if you don't keep that pushing dark forward. dark night when you came to us. Have you forgotten it already? Towards the light, Gregory. There's nothing you can do to stop us. Stop this foolishness! I'll keep your room keep ready for your ready return. For return. Because we found Gregory's uh, house on that dark night when we tried to escape reality. And maybe reality will get so much for us that we might want to escape again somewhere, somewhere safe, if a little bit unsafe. Come on now, throw away so all like them worries. The Forget about them. Hey, you, you did good, kid. I gotta say, I'm impressed. Like I promised, I'll send you back. Just follow this path, buddy. What? You still got unfinished business? Hurry it up already. I ain't got all eternity. There's one person we need to release. What are you still doing here? I don't need your thanks. Just hurry up and go! You want me to come with you? Oh, I can. It does need help. These shackles, they're my burden, you know. I can't bring myself to forget my pain. The red handkerchief. I don't need your pity. <laughs> Just hurry up and go! You've already made your choice. Go. Don't look back. We've decided to leave, and we are leaving. Gregory! That brat is getting away! Don't you worry about a thing, Mama. I'll go catch the little rascal in no time at all. You can count on me. Huh? W what are you doing here? Get back in your room! Did you hear me? Ooh, uh, stop! Uh, uh, stop this minute! I'm tired of doing nothing but dreaming. Putting an end to this. <laughs> Firefighter on the scene, yeah! Oh, 
Oh! Oh! Oh, my precious souls! Oh, my beautiful world of chaos. It's burning up. Everything I've worked so hard to achieve. Finished. Ah! <laughs> Flames, flames of crimson. Every house will burn to the ground. This world is a reflection of the weakness in your heart. Whether you return to reality or not is up to you. This world is a reflection of the weakness in your heart. I heard a scream behind me. Turning around, I saw the hotel in flames crumbling to the ground. How I got myself into this mess, I will never know. All I could do was run, run away along that path. There's a sting in the tail though. Now, at last, I understand. The hotel was my own creation, a way to escape from reality. I had escaped from the hotel, but I couldn't forget my room. The gentle madness, the soft fear, it made me feel warm. To leave all that behind for the real world was to face a cold, empty future full of suffering. But if I ever become tired of my struggle with reality, I know I will find my way back to that hotel again. And when that time comes, I might... I might never return to the real world. How awesome is that? We created Gregory um, House to escape reality. And it's kind of what the player does. We escape reality into the world of Gregory House. And it will always be there waiting for you if you need to escape again. It is time. Let the show commence once again. <laughs> the lost souls will always find their way to Gregory House. And so begins. Another tale. The whole thing moves. I love it. I love it. I knew you'd be coming back. Eventually, everyone comes back to Gregory House. <laughs> oh, you must be tired. Come rest. You know you'll need it. <laughs> I love it. And that's the game. Um, we will save our completed save data over the extra save we made we'll keep the save that we made just before this one we'll keep that one
so that we can load that one up now. Oh, I guess I'm making you safe. Who cares? Whatever. Never mind. <laughs> Okay, so what would you look at that dead on midnight? Isn't that funny? So let's watch some horror shows. We already saw Cactus Gunmans, so let me let me cross off. Ca well, I'll go and get them so they're all in the same. Like we can just timestamp them at the end of the video. Um, thank you. Yeah, it's it's a great game. It's really it's cute. It's got a lot of character. I like it. Um, we are going to load this save. And, well, let's just do it in order, but we'll also kind of work on who's closest to the save room. So, who's about? Uh, Catherine is in her room, so it seems fitting to start with Catherine. Yo, Catherine. What could this be? Boom. <laughs> time for a blood test. It's time for a blood test. No worries, Bounty. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed the game. Oh, that felt so good. So that is Catherine's uh, horror show. Um, who else have we got knocking around? My son, uh, well, my son and Clockmaster have this, I think they have the same, yeah, they have the same horror show. So, we'll just get Clockmaster. Don't worry, thanks for stopping by. But we're, we're not quite finished yet, anyone who's still here. We're gonna finish up these horror shows. Oh my god, it's a clusterfuck. Who's gonna get to me first? Cactus Gunman. So yeah, we got this in the main run, but we're just gonna watch it again so they're all in the video. I think I'm in love. Will you be my special lady? A fine senorita like you would much rather have some flowers, no? Lost Doll is in this corridor. Yeah. Also, as a side note, we're probably going to see what happens when you game over. Back, my doll. My dolly. My dolly. My <laughs> Every time you have blood taken, you'll have visions of her. Get yeah, you do. Every time. Oof. The doll she's looking for is me! <laughs> yeah. The doll she's looking for is herself. So she'll never find it. <laughs> oh, I would have thought that was a game over. Never mind. Mummy Papa is knocking around here somewhere. Yeah. Mummy Papa! Yo, Mummy Papa! Some nice medicine for you. Oh boy. I would love some medicine. Now then, bottoms up. Oof. <laughs> Oh, we got the double. We got the double. Lucky. This doesn't always happen as far as I remember. Oh, that feels so good. Oh. Nah, 
and I'm dead. <laughs> And so Garlips went insane, becoming a lost soul, trapped in Gregory House for eternity. Oh boy. Right, who have we seen? We've seen Catherine, we've seen Lost Doll, we've seen Mummy Papa, we've seen Cactus Gunman. Um, so we've still got uh, Cactus Girl, Roulette Boy. Hell Chef, Clockmaster, and Angel Dog. Angel Dog is just down the hall. I'm sure you can imagine what Roulette Boys is. Oh, there's my son as well. And Clockmaster. Who's going to get to me first? We'll go do Roulette Boy because Roulette Boy is kind of harder to find. But it is rather basic. Chef is in the corridor. Mint. I love this. <laughs> Anime slice. so close to death um but that's fine um where is okay who, who we got left clockmaster cactus girl oh my god clockmaster and cactus girl are fairly close by actually doesn't get out of her room very much. So let's go bug Cactus Girl. I'm actually going to need my speed up to catch up with her. Oh, I died. <laughs> I died because my just mental gauge drained to the bottom. 
I was like, I think I had enough time to go and get someone. No, I don't. Okay. So we have done Cactus, and then we've done Roulette Boy. Done Hell Chef, and we've done Angel Dog. So we just have Clockmaster, um, or my son, and Cactus Girl. Cactus Girl has a different one to Cactus Gunman. Also, Cactus Gunman is the only person who has a different one based on whether you're a boy or a girl. But I don't have time to play as a boy and uh, uh, get to this point in the game and see what his horror show looks like for you. I'm afraid you'll just have to YouTube that. Okay. My son is in the storeroom. last one cactus girl well to be fair to cactus girl she usually is in her room so that's fairly easy to find i heard what you've been saying about my son Exact same thing. I guess it's it's technically different. So we could go and see that. But honestly, it's it's really it's pretty much the same. Same with um Mummy Dog. Um he does the exact same thing as Mummy Papa. He just gives you medicine, so not really worth it. Where's Cactus Girl? I meant to look, and even then I didn't. Oh my god, look at that clusterfuck up on the uh on the first floor, West Wing. Um, getting to Cactus Girl might be tricky. Oh god. Rock and a hard place. Once they've made the decision to go through a door though, you're you're pretty much safe, which is which is good to know. Right. Oh my god, look at this, see? Trying to get around this hotel at the moment is crazy. Cactus Girl is fairly close actually. She's up by where the bar door is. No, get up the stairs, get up the stairs, get up the stairs. Talk to him before he horror showed me. Uh, That's amazing. You back in time. time is money. Dunk. Oof. Where's Cactus Girl? Oh my god, she's with Catherine. speed up anymore. There's Gregory. That's Cactus Gunman, not Cactus Girl. Where's Cactus Girl? I guess she's with them. Clockmaster. Honestly, it's really hard to tell. Oh my god, we met on the stairs. Cactus gun there. Where'd Cactus Girl go? There she is. 
Winter Cup find this right behind me. You'd make a perfect date for my brother. <laughs> yeah, he already told How me. How dare you trample all over my brother's feelings! Huh. Are you impressed? Hi, Chloe. Welcome to the stream. We are just about to finish. Like, <laughs> minutes away from finishing. Uh, but thank you for joining me. I appreciate it all the same. Uh, we have been playing Gregory Horror Show. Uh, we already finished the game in one sitting, and this was just checking out the uh, the titular horror shows uh, that the guests of the hotel can submit you to if you uh, get caught by them after you've stolen their soul. Um, if you ever feel curious, this whole stream is going to be uploaded on YouTube, so uh, you can check out the VOD at any time. Um, to see what the hell this crazy game was about. Uh, it looks pretty crazy, right? It's very Japanese. Um, but that's it. That's the end of the stream. Um, so what I will do is I will just take a look at who we can raid. But in the meantime, thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the game. It's one of my favorites, so I'm really glad that I got to show it off for everybody. Um, yes, we can... We can, uh, we can raid, uh, you, we'll raid you. Okay, bit of a change of pace. We're going to raid someone who is playing Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cut. It looks like they might be speed running, so don't do anything to disrupt their speed run, but say hi if you can. Um, thank you for being here with me, I appreciate it. Um, tomorrow we're going to be doing Silent Hill 4 speedrunning, um, and there's going to be a very special surprise in the intermission. So please be around for that if you can. Um, thank you for being here. No worries, the VOD will be available, Chloe, on YouTube. I'll um, I'll message you a link on Twitter or something. Um, but yeah, thank you for being here. I'll see you tomorrow for Silent Hill 4. It's going to be really special. We're going to try and get a new time and get ahead of um, Axton again get a bit of a lead we're currently in the lead by four minutes but i don't like it i want more time between me and axton he's he's nipping at my heels no worries thank you for dropping in i appreciate it uh we're gonna go raid uh Rizuru now who's playing sonic adventure dx it looks like they're speed running so let's hop in there and say hello bye for now take care